It's good. Like she was good to go. How's it going, guys? Uh, Boulder Vaughn, Isaac Gaming, your regular gamer. What's up, guys? Welcome, BBN. Big game here on the road against LSU. Yep, I'm go hoping. Uh, yeah. Hoping uh, we've been playing a little. I feel like the last couple of games played a little sloppy. So hopefully, uh, we can play better today. And I think Definitely. we're gonna have to play good in order to win. But either way, I hope we can pick it up and play a good game and everyone for the most part can play a decent game. No turnover. What not that avoid turnovers, make your free throws and knock down four or five threes. Nope. Except we gotta pick it up tonight if we want to win. We cannot play like we have played the last two games. Now aside from the second half against Vanderbilt. But other than that, we cannot play like that and expect to get anywhere near a win tonight. We're gonna turn that TV down. We just gotta try to fight and so we can put ourselves in a position to win this game late. That's what I'm feeling like right now. To show some heart, some effort, and just play some hard basketball. This is a tough game on the road at LSU. We just got to pull it together and get some guys playing better basketball. We want to win tonight. There yeah, is 16.1 seconds left in this <clears throat> Purdue game. We're probably looking at about five minutes till tip. I'm going to be bowing out early tonight. I got an early morning. I'll be watching the game. Next to these guys, so Jake and Kenny will take you home with, a, like they said, a tough road game. This does not define our season. Uh, we've been doing well. We've gotten by lately, like Kenny said, not playing as well. And if we keep that up, we will take it on the chin tonight. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully they play well and get the W. But either way, we're battling, uh, tied with Auburn at the top in first place with LSU right behind us and a couple others, a couple games behind that. So the goal is to win the league. But setting up for those top four seeds in the tournament is the goal. So I'm going to turn it over to the boys, Big Blue Nation. Hopefully they bring home a W. If not, we'll see you Saturday. There you go. So, uh, Dylan. Looks like uh, there's 7.6 seconds to go in this Purdue-Wisconsin game right now. Or Wisconsin's going to line for two free throws right now. But yeah, like we were just talking about, this is—I mean, this is really—I mean, it's a regular season game. I think it's a game of us uh, to see where we're at. It's a really tough team, and uh, it's really just all about building towards March because we're almost to March here. We got six games left: three on the road, three at home. Take all three at home, and try to scrap out two two of the three. But that'd be a very good end of the season. We just got we just got to pull it together here and get some guys playing better basketball because. I guess we'll see our key player of the game today, our prediction. I guess uh, for me, I think tonight's key player is going to have to be – whoa, that's a push-off. It's probably, probably have to be, uh, for me, I think a guy like E.J. Montgomery has got to give us 10-plus points and five or eight rebounds. I, I don't think that's going to determine if we're going to win or not, but we're going to need more than just two points out of him tonight if we're going to win. I mean, we can – only we can only live on so many guys scoring like 30, 20 some points. Like it's it is nice and they do that. But tonight my player of the game prediction is EJ Montgomery. Let's hope that turns out to be true. Can yeah, I'm about done with this key player stuff because I'm always wrong and it doesn't even matter. Just, just take predictions. I feel like I just jinx the player. I say, I mean, I've said Sestina a lot, but uh, I say quickly last week or something. But that works. I mean, usually quickly is always a key player. But I guess the key player for this game. Is going to be uh, Richards. I hope Richards can dominate down low, make his hook shots, get rebounds, and make it make the free throws. And hopefully, he can uh, lead us to a win here, nope. get double double, or at least double digits <clears throat> as far as points go. I'll play the game. So, guys, our game looks like it's coming on right now. Uh, we got Karen Martin in the house. Yep. Hope we hope hopefully we play good tonight. Uh, Miami Canes all day. We've got a big game tonight. Not a fan of either team, but just want to see a good game. This, hey, if you're if you're not a fan of either Kentucky or LSU, this is probably a great game to watch because there's gonna be hopefully. no stress either way. Well, hopefully not. So hopefully we. Blow oh, them no, because well, there's, there's talent on both sides. Yeah. Uh, your regular gamer, this will be a good win for NCAA resume. That is absolutely true. That's why if we win this game, there are some major positives that come from this. Not only uh, getting closer to securing the regular season SEC title, but yeah, it's a huge win we can add to our resume, which we've already got some really good wins, but just add it to the group. And then uh, Mountain Warriors, go Big Blue. Lee Martin, let's go. Yep. Good to see you in, good, yeah, good to see you in the house, Lee. <sighs> and Mountain Warriors again. Got to play hard tonight. Looks like we're tipping off really, really soon. I'll type in the chat whenever we tip off here. 
Movie Mania. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. The cat's trying to get in the house. Boulder Vaughn, Richardson Haggins need to have a big game. That's true. I In the description, I don't know if you guys can see that or not when you watch the stream, but I try to write a kind of a preview of the game below. And uh, like I said, Richards, out of the four main players, in my opinion, on the team, who are those are Richards, Maxi, Haggins, and uh, Quickly. I think at least two or three of those guys have to have monster games tonight for, in order for us to win. Not all four have to play great, but I think two or three have to play great. Yeah, well, that's the that. same for most games, but especially tonight in a tough road environment. How do you respond? How do you do that? Uh, yeah, Mountain Warriors, I agree. Maybe maybe has got a good channel over there. Holder Vaughn, I have eight, eight pieces of UK clothing on right now. Yeah, tonight, I don't have my jersey on tonight. I have a Kentucky shirt on underneath here. Uh, I have my necklaces on and stuff, but yeah, it's kind of a cold night, so it's kind of a sweatshirt type night tonight. Definitely gonna have my jersey on Saturday for that big home game against Florida. Get six o'clock. Get some pom poms out. Yeah, we, we, we definitely have a, a little story on these. We got these like uh, three years ago when we had Malik Monk and De'Aaron Fox uh, against UCLA. We lost the game, so a bunch of these were on the ground. So we just decided to just walk around and pick up like a thousand, or not a thousand, probably like thirty or forty of them. And then we, we just tipped off. Uh, we won the tip. Higgins has got into front court. Over to quickly and over to Maxi, back to Haggins. Over to Montgomery now on the right wing. Gets inside to Richards, who is he kicks it out to Haggins on the other side for it, who fakes it, drives it in, throws up a lob, it gets deflected, but Richards grabs it. Richards goes up strong, misses it, but EJ Montgomery puts wow. it back in for a layup. Good, no good effort by our bigs on that possession. UK up two nothing. No content. Well, as long as they put call it like that all day, good they won't. But. Also, he's driving in hard at the basket, misses a layup, but they get the offensive rebound, and we block it, but then they get it back and put it back in. Oh, God dang bull. 2-2 two, two, tie. Second chance points. What, third chance point, or was that it? That's both teams have gotten second chance points there. Back to zero. Haggins has it over to Quickly, inside of Richards. Back out to Haggins, who kicks over to Massey for an open three-point shot. No good, but Richards tips it out to Haggins. Nice. Good tip out. Haggins takes an open three-point shot. That's no good. Come on, guys. Throw in the ocean. And we Our three-point shooting issues are continuing, it looks like, so far. Someone's got to step up. It's two to two. LSU has it now. Dribbles it inside the arc towards the basket. Has a good little pass over for a big-time dunk for one of their big guys. Four to two, LSU up. Tucky ball now quickly has it. Who throws over to Maxi? who goes into the – Baseline area, back out to Richards, who hands it off to Maxi. Maxi's dribbling it around over to Haggins. <clears throat> Haggins starts to drive to the basket, goes strong, passes over to Richards, who wasn't ready, and he almost turns it over, but Montgomery saves it somehow. He drives it in and lays it in. <laughs> Montgomery's got four. Four he to four, really? four wow. to four time. You said Montgomery. Well, you know, you it's, a pretty, it's, it's a little early. <laughs> no matter what happens, you score our first yeah, so he already doubled his Goodness. He already doubled his total from uh, last game. Man. So LSU ball. They're jumping around. They're driving towards the basket. They put it up off the backboard and in. We're going to pick up the defense. They have six points. <clears throat> okay. LSU just stole it from us. Uh, LSU Haggins. ball. I think Haggins just turned it over. It's our first turnover of the night. LSU's got oh, it now. They about walked, but they stole the ball. Way outside the arc right now. They're driving towards the hoop. Almost a steal, but they get it. They're driving again towards the basket. Put it up. No good. Richards almost grabs it, but then LSU does. LSU has an open three-point no. shot. That goes no good, and Haggins oh. rebounds. Don't have to turn it over, Haggins. Come on. Come on, Haggins. Let's go. Dish it. Oh. It's us. Haggins had Richards for, the, for a good bounce pass. He didn't do it. No. How did he not see that? He's right in front of him. Okay, so it's UK ball, guys. We're down six to Why four. Are we going to Marty Smith already. And Marty Smith has done like all of our games this season. Okay, guys. Uh, <clears throat> our ball. We throw it over to Maxi, who catches it, goes to the left elbow, back out to Maxi, resetting right now. Get a screen from EJ Montgomery. Maxi drives to the hoop, puts it off off the glass, and hit. What a foul. M one. Contact. Six to six. Ty, Maxi going to line for one free throw. 
Aiden Godfrey, who, who y'all think will return next year? At this point, I'd say the ones that are guaranteed to come back are Juzang, Brooks, and I, I think EJ. Those three are guaranteed. The rest, who knows? <laughs> I'm reading that on. Maxie's free throw is rattles oh in. Hit the rim God. like four times, but bounced in. 7 6 UK oh, wow. up one. 16.55 to go in the first half. For Ravani hit the free throw. It was a good free throw. Well, it bounced, it bounced off the rim, but it was still a good free throw. What's the line? Uh, Lee, if you're watching, what's the line tonight? LSU ball, now they drive it in to out. the paint area. They go up with a little oh, – oh, it's blocked by McGrew, but they call a foul on him. Why is it a foul? Man, that's a good play by EJ. That's not a foul. What, no, he cannot get another foul. He's got to be what? smart. Is it body or arm? Goodness. Regular gamer, yeah, I agree. <laughs> hey, no one, you can say whatever you want about our team, but uh, just no, keep, try to keep it no, family no, friendly. No, no. That, that guy, he's a, he, was, he just asked me a question too. Yeah. LSU is getting ready to shoot a two-shot free throw attempt. First one's up and good. Tie game again, seven-seven. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fight. This is not gonna be easy. For us to win this game. Should have had these guys last year. But they goaltended. I should talk about that game at the TV at the TV timeout here in a second. We're sixteen forty one in the first half. Get a hundred percent free throw shooter. He never misses. He never misses. LSU makes a second free throw. They're up one, eight to seven. Logan the kid, go big blue. Now Maxie has it. Throws it up to quickly for a wide open shot attempt from three that airballs. What was that? That was very, shot? very strange. It was a great look. Got to keep taking those though. What is up with our three shooting? It's like a it's curse. just got to get over a mental lapse. It's quickly had a great look for three and Man. just airballed it. He's just got to get back in the zone. Let's get that out of our system now. So it's going to be LSU ball right now. They have it way outside the three point line. Dribbles it over to the right side of the court, to the top of the key, who fakes it, drives it to the free throw line, starts goes in farther in. No foul. Good defense by Kentucky. Quickly has the ball. Up to Haggins, who back throws it back to Quickly, who goes towards the basket, into the corner to Maxi, who about loses it and does lose it. No! 16.02 to go. So uh, And then freaking the stupid coach for LSU right now is clapping up a storm over there. Oh, the one that was let's let's relax, pal. You know, the one that shouldn't have a job right now. That I don't know how he has a job. I mean, one that literally that, paid players or bars. something. Yeah. Hey, but anyway. Uh, Sestina's in the game. Uh, Sestina just checked in for, it looks like, EJ. Now, LSU has the ball now. It's 8 to 7, LSU, 15, 40 to go. LSU with a three point attempt that goes no good, and Haggins has it. We got to go hard at the basket and get him to call a foul. Yeah, get, yeah. Draw a foul. Get a good look. Haggins has a good little crossover. Over to Maxi, who's Drive. trying to get into Sestina, who they do get into Sestina, who faces up. Goes to the his post good move, move. right-hand hook. No it's good, but Richards dunks it back in. Yeah, they better let us goal 10 one Wasn't shot that tonight. Wasn't goaltending? Look like he got on the way down. Uh, Richards? No, it no. looked like LSU got Could've. a Sestina shot on the way down. But... It was a good attempt. So Richards dunks it in. We're up 1.9 to 8. UK up. LSU shoots a three-point shot that goes no good. And, and I think it's off them. Our ball. I don't know. They can't review it. I'm glad so. Yep, it's going to be our ball, more than likely, with 15-17 to go in the first half. We're up 1.9 to 8 UK leading. And we're at a the first TV timeout of the first half. Yeah, that might have been on the way down, goaltending. Your regular gamer, yeah. I mean, at this point, I feel like there's not one team in the country that doesn't have a bad loss, but I agree. No, no, one, agree. no one can really be talking trash at this point, and that means no one. Unless – the only, the only thing that can talk trash is, I don't agree with it, but is San Diego State since they're undefeated. Still, they really haven't played. But they're undefeated, so they can say whatever they want, even though I don't think they're a true undefeated team because they haven't played yeah. much. But so uh, uh, let's hit yeah, some of these comments. Obviously, our uh, moderator, Moody Media, is going to probably decide. But, uh, yeah, as long as you don't spam and uh, say anything too inappropriate, then I don't, we don't really care what you say. But uh, mainly the rules. Mountain Warriors, what the heck was that? Yeah, I agree. That was that was our reaction too for that three attempts. Wide open. 
He needs quickly. He can't really <laughs> can't really get on him. No, he's keep firing. Player. Keep firing. It happens. I mean, it happens to every shooter. Everyone's had an air ball. Well, yeah. I mean, that, it's just it's just it's all piling up. And, I mean, the really bad I mean, shooting game last time, and then to this is what really makes. It and work. you can probably agree when you're that wide open. Sometimes that makes you change your because you saw he went oh. slow. Like sometimes you're. I mean, honestly, I, when I played and still play a little bit, uh, I'm best shooting when it's quick. When you hold it for too long, you think about it and it changes everything you do. It's that's why those quick shots. You just go straight into it. You don't even think about it. When you think about it, stuff like that can happen, but it's a bit, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Everyone I mean, misses. Uh, I mean. Oh, you, did you disagree? Well, I just think, I mean, yeah, obviously that can happen, but quickly he's made, he's made wide open ones in the past. Mm-hmm. I've never so seen him pause. I just think shot, this yeah. whole lapse, we need to <clears throat> really get back on it. We have a bad, as bad of a shooting game as we did last two games, kind of need to start picking it up eventually. I understand like, that can't happen. I mean, like Over I just before, said, right yeah. now, the team's kind of on mental laughs right now with shooting threes, and that's how it usually goes. I mean, there's been time stretches like this, and then and eventually we'll start hitting shots, and it'll, everyone will start hitting shots. But let's see. Uh, <clears throat> UK highlights and sports updates. What's going on? Aiden G- Godfrey, uh, Kansas, Baylor, Dayton don't have a bad – don't have a bad one for real. Uh – I, I think I agree with you on Baylor and D- Dayton. I don't think they've lost anyone too bad. Kansas, I guess they haven't lo- really lost anyone bad either. But I, I, I'll have to do a little more research on that. I mean, I, I didn't really mean like no one has – I just feel like most teams have a bad loss. <clears throat> well, at, most every team has a loss except uh, San Diego State. Uh, San Diego State isn't even good because they – all the teams they play are bad. You're a regular gamer. Uh I mean, they're definitely not in a, a conference like the SEC, Big yeah. 12, or Big 10, or ACC. I agree. Isaac Gaming, go Cats. Drew Martin, EJ has a, has had a good start getting two putbacks. I agree. That's – I mean, that's – I said 10 points, seven rebounds, or eight rebounds was my goal for the game, and he's well on the way if he can continue that. Wait, is it our ball? Yeah. It went, it went out of bounds. Yeah, I saw the interesting thing about the kickoff. That's 63% oh, of college football and to return for 39%. Oh, wow. So it's UK ball, guys. Hagens has it over to Sustina. He just traveled out of his Now Maxi has it. We reset a little bit. Maxi's got the ball over to Quickly, who fakes it, drives it towards the hoop, goes into a uh, move, gets it over to Sustina now, who posts up, and they call a flipping no charge. Way. He, he flopped. You're going to call He flopped, that. man. That's He flopped. But is that not a flop? How we win it? Like to see it again. How can you post up? I mean, that's literally called a post up. It's one thing if you lower your shoulder, but you're allowed to bump a little bit. How we win it? Because we scored a we had that put back dunk. So they call a charge on Sestina. So it's LSU ball now. 9-8, Kentucky, 14, 48 to go. So now LSU has it now, right elbow area extended. It's in the same area, they're kind of passing around. Good defense by the Cats at the moment. Oh. They do a little dribble handoff to a guy at the elbow who puts up a shot that goes no good. LSU rebounds it. Oh, rejected by rejected by Nick Nick Richardson. LSU shoots a a three point shot that goes in. Christine is really hurting us on defense. Come on, Nate. We need to do something out of you positive. So LSU's up two points. Our ball. Christine's got it now. Straight away. Passes it over to Quickly on the right wing. Trying to get into Richards. Fouling Richards. It quickly drives in hard, and they don't call – they do call a foul. Man. So, Quickly's going to line for two shots. Yeah, LSU did just lose a game on the road, so they're going to be pretty zoned in right now. It's Alabama with Nick, Nick saving the house. I, what, was he there? I don't know why they didn't, they didn't show him the whole time they were watching. Clap, it's the whole was clapping at one point. Saving was I don't know why we didn't see Nick save it once. The LSU Alabama game. Anyways, so quickly he's at the line for two shots. Let's see if he can get some free throws to go in and get his confidence back a little bit. Crazy his first shot's up and good. Yeah, we're not even in discussion for anything close to those. Why? Even though we're – That's good because, I mean, a lot of those teams we can beat – I mean, you can beat anybody. San Diego State, <clears throat> I think they're going to have a rude awakening in March. Let's Baylor, see. I think, is good. Baylor looks pretty legit. Yeah, Baylor has been really consistent. Kansas is good as long as they're not throwing chairs at people. Quickly, second shot is up I and know. good. 
11 11 Kentucky with 14 minutes to go. Tie game. LSU ball now dribbles in the front court. They pass it over to their arguably best player, in my opinion, number four. Been there 10 years. Yeah, he's a senior. Might be a fifth year senior. He's dribbling it around. They kick it to the corner, and it looks like they're going to reset. Tw 10 seconds on the shot clock. LSU about walks. They he drive just it in, walked. and they call a foul on us. They're going to the line for two shots. That better not be EJ's second foul. It's Q U I C K L E Y. Yeah, it's not quick. It's quick. Uh, in Godfrey, refs hate the way Cena plays. I, it's, it kind of reminds me of J Julius Randle and uh, Reed Travis. Big guy, big guys like that. They they just get they call too much stuff down there. LSU makes the first free throw. They're up one point. Get ready to shoot a second free throw. That's just. I don't think I don't think LSU's missed a free throw yet. Yeah, and that wasn't EJ Montgomery, so he's gonna be out for the rest of the first half. So and much for his breakout game. Can't happen now. And they missed a the second free throw. They don't deserve it. So they're up one point. Our ball. Cal's calling out of play. Haggins has it straight away. Gets a screen from Brooks. Space oh, kind of a screen. They get Brooks for an elbow jump shot. Goes up and no good. So LSU ball. We gotta get Brooks going, man. Gotta get him going. LSU shoots a fix a three point shot, dribbles the elbow, good pass inside. They go up strong, no good. It's Cena grabs it. Good defense. Haggins has it up to quickly. Brooks falls down. That quickly has it. Hard to pass. Yeah, you fucking bomb. Yeah, you. I think is that the same guy who goaltended last hey, year? Hey, it's the Bad LSU goaltending Tigers. Actually, I think he went pro. Never mind. So, uh, goaltending on LSU on quickly's drive. So quickly gets credited for two points. Two points and. Uh, we should be at one point right now. Oh, yeah, we are. We better be. So it should be 13 to 12. It is 13 to 12. UK up one. 13 minutes to go in the first half. LSU ball. Dribble handoff to their best player. Passing it around outside right now. Inside to a post guy who's facing up on Nate Sestina. They go into an – and they call travel. Oh! Good try, guys. LS for Kentucky ball up one. Got to get Brooks a bucket here. Is he still in? Get a – not even a bucket. Just get, get, get like, some kind of putback or some kind of dunk. I just, like, I, I he can play. what just, he can do out there. He can do – that's the thing. Is he's capable of literally hitting threes and doing everything. He's just got to do it. Maxi with a floater that is no good. Brooks Dang. fights for it but doesn't get it. Dang it, Max. You got to hit that. I like that shot yep. he always makes it. Yep. LSU ball now. They use a screen, a nice little behind-the-back pass. Do we got the top of the key? They walk. They don't call it. And, oh, oh hey, the block. monster block. Take that. Up to Maxi, who catches it. He kicks it over to Cookie for – he fakes it, drives it in, kicks it into the corner for Haggins for an open three-point shot. That's no good. Cecina grabs it out to Maxi, drives it towards the basket, over to Haggins, who walks. They don't call it. Haggins in the corner to Cookie for an open three-point shot. That's good. Yeah, there three. We're up four Woo! points, 16 to 12. UK up with 12.05. First three of the game for quickly, for Kentucky total, too. Let's get another one. UK toilet's open. So, uh, I don't know. We got our first three, or our only three point shot of the half. They drive in on it Brooks. He goes up strong. Oh, and a block by Sestina. A huge block, but they Wait. get it back. 10 seconds on the shot clock. They shoot a deep three point shot that's no good. Brooks with a good oh, rebound. 16 12, Kentucky. 11 40 to go. Our ball. We throw it over to Quickly. Oh, oh, fakes the monster three point. Oh, he get, almost gets fouled. Over to Haggins. I know, he should have. It's unselfish, unselfish. So Haggins has it, 15 seconds on the shot clock, uses the screen from Brooks, gets into Sestina inside low, and he gets fouled, and they yeah. call it. It better be what? what it? No, it's on, it's on LSU. Oh, I think it's on a track. Foul on LSU. I don't think it's, oh a, I don't think it's a one and one yet, but uh, I think it'll be, it's definitely going to be our ball coming to this next uh, segment of the game. This is the under-12 timeout. And quickly, finally hits a three, and Kentucky has a three-point shot for the day. And let's see here. We got uh, – your regular gamer, we need Sustina to be able to shoot tonight. I agree. If we're going to win tonight, I think we have to have at least one three from Nate Sustina. Just at least one. Boulder Vaughn cut out the turnovers. Absolutely. That's got to be – that was in my little preview before the game, too, of uh, in the description of, the, of this live stream. We have to limit the turnovers to maybe five or seven total. If you get over ten, you're putting yourself in a position to lose. Mountain Warriors, yep, we got to have Brooks. He, he, he was giving us some rebounds there. That's, it's, you have to have a starting point for these guys. I mean, get some rebounds. 
get some putbacks, and then maybe that, the jump shots and threes and everything else will come from that. Yeah. But, yeah, focus for Brooks right now, focus on getting blocks and rebounds. That's all you got to do right now. Uh, let's see. Isaac Gaming, yep, 13, it was 13-12 one point. Now it's 16-12. Well, uh, your regular gamer, who do you think will win the NCAA tournament? Wow. That's a Kentucky. tough question because it really I, – I, to be honest, I think the team that's going to win the championship right now is a team you're not really thinking about right now. I think it's going to be a team that's going to pick it up late. We just don't even know about them yet. Uh, Mountain Warriors, quickly for three, finally. Yep. Kidder, 96. Today is Vanna White's birthday. She was the lady from Okay, okay. That's cool. It's close to actually a birthday on the channel. It is Kenny's birthday tomorrow. Get a Kentucky win for me, even though so it's really, uh, pretty cool. The day before, unless we go into overtime. Mountain Warriors, I agree. Nice block for Cena, and then Mountain Warriors says, "Nice, happy birthday, Vanna." Movie Mania says, "Let's get Cena some shots from behind the arc." I agree. From the top of the key, top of the key, top of the key, and then Mountain inside, Warriors. Inside, inside. It's Kenny's birthday tomorrow. BBN Big Twenty One. Boulder Vaughn, happy B day, Kenny. Yeah, I'll drink a beer on Kentucky and then I free win. I'll, yeah, drink, I'll drink my first beer if we win the championship. I won't be 21 until midnight. So hopefully this game doesn't go into my birthday. Because hopefully we win it in regulation. Yeah. Hey, Boulder Vaughn say birthday. No, thanks. Mountain Warriors it. says uh, Kenny, 21. And your regular gamer says happy B-Day, too. Thanks. It's uh, still it's still two and a half hours away. But yeah. it's basically, basically it. Isaac, Ke Isaac Gaming says Kenny. Uh <laughs> Daniel Cheney says Eastern Kentucky all the way. That would be a shocking championship winner right there. Yeah. I guess they could still win their conference, though, right? I mean, I think this is kind of Kentucky team that could sneak up in the tournament and steal one. And so, this like is, a, this is a tournament that can be stole by anyone. That's true. It's whoever, decides they want it, whoever, it's whoever decides they want it more, honestly. I mean, if we show up in March playing crazy, maybe, anything's possible. Maybe that's. So, and then Isaac Gaming says, happy, happy birthday. Thanks, or appreciate Isaac, it. Yeah, Isaac, yeah. So, it's our ball. Quickly has it. Gets it into Richards for a baseline jump shot that's no good. And he's got to hit that shot. God dang it, Nick. That's got to be made from you, man. Okay, LSU ball. We're up four right now. 11 minutes to go in the first half. Just got to scrap it out. Ju Zhang's in the game now. LSU drives hard to the hoop and puts it in. That's way too easy. That's That guy's going to do that all day if we let him have it. Two point game now. Or Kentucky's up 16 to 14. Our ball. Sistina hands it off to Juzang. Back to Haggins at the top of the key. Gets a screen from Richards. Starts to drive to the basket. Puts it up off the backboard again. Good drive for Haggins to answer their drive. We're back, back up four, 18 14 UK. 10 40 to go. LSU ball. They get it to the right wing area. Get it inside now to the guy that Rich, Richards is guarding. Cross court pass for wing three for LSU. No good. And we fight over the rebound. Oh, back. Are you kidding? They don't call up an LSU's ball. Uh, we got to grab it. We fought over it. LSU ball still 15 seconds in the shot clock. 10 seconds in the shot clock now. They get it to the guy uh, who Richards is guarding again. Back to the wing area. They drive hard to the hoop, put it up, and they call goaltending. Okay. We got to rebound the flipping ball in the first place. He had place. the ball. He went right over. Richards what are you and, supposed to do? Richards and, well, first, Richards and quickly fought over it in the first place. We should just grab it. So it's a two-point game again. Goaltending on Nick Richards. So it's an 18-16 ball game. Kentucky up two. You got to love how they call that goaltending. Then they screw no, us no. at our home court last year. They didn't miss the deciding points. So goaltending is one-to-one -to -one tonight. We've both got a goaltending call on our favor. Uh, Juzang's got it now. Let's Over to Maxi. who – let's get Maxi a three, for goodness sakes. Quickly has it now at the top of the key. Hands it off to Maxi. We got – 12 cents in the shot clock. Max uses a screen from Richards. Back to no one. Out of bounds. Turnover number two on the game. Someone's got to catch that pass. I mean, I know it wasn't a good pass, but can no one grab it? So it's LSU ball. We're up two points. Those kind of turnovers are just, they're going to screw us. I guarantee you. LSU ball. And they're going to play in two years. LSU drives in and they kick a charge on LSU. They have a cheap little dunk there. I mean, that's a technical. I know. Give them the ball. So it's uh, we're still up two. UK ball, 
Maxi has it now. Dribbles into the front court right now. Still 18-16. Hands it off to quickly. Over to Juzang. Over to Maxi now, the left wing area, back to the top of the key where Cookie's at. Who passes over to Maxi. 13 seconds in the shot clock. Maxi uses the screen from Richards again. We throw it over to the corner to Quickly, who fakes a three-point shot, drives in for a floater. That's no good. Rich Sestina grabs it, goes up strong. Jeez. No good. Richards grabs it. Oh my who kicks God. it outside to Maxi, who kicks it over to Quickly in the corner for three. No good. God, but get it. Oh, God no dang it. Good, good, good hustle for us. We just once again, our shooting is a problem right now. We're hitting. Wait, our clip is not good right now. That was it. I don't even know two fouls on. Here. This is big right here, guys. sistina has got two fouls, and Montgomery's got two fouls. And I think EJ's. He's not back in yet. That, you know what that means? They just get all Brooks our, has to step up. They get all our big men out of the game. No. Goodness gosh, darn it. Okay, guys. So it looks like Brooks is back in the game now. I mean, Juzang and Brooks have got to step up for us tonight, guys. LSU ball, UK up two points, 18-16. They kick it over to the top of the key. They drive in strong, and they – that should be off LSU or ball. Oh! It's out of bounds off LSU, no fouls. We need to cash in while we have the chance. We have a two-point lead. We can really extend it here. We're going to have to. The no fouls, even though they've got – they've screwed us with the four, our four fouls, two on Montgomery and two on Sestina, the fouls are even right now. So we can't really complain about that too much. It just matters who the, who the fouls are on. But that last possession – we got so many second chances, and usually you cash that in. Yeah, it's so frustrating. We didn't deserve it. So Maxi has it now, way outside the three-point line. Over to Brooks. Over to Juzang now. Now to two Higgins, who's back in the game. Drives it into the hoop. Puts it off off the glass. No good. That's off LSU. Our ball still. Eight thirty-one to go in the first half. Let's get a better shot than that. That's just. I mean, I'm not gonna complain for a foul because they're not calling on everyone, but there's gotta be contact in there. Sure looks like it. all the time. That's all. If that's Auburn, they're going to freaking hoop right now for two shots. Still 18-16. We get into Zang for a two-point shot. That's no good, but good rebound by Maxi, who puts it up and airballs it. He's got to put that in. Dang it, Maxi! It's an awesome rebound. You didn't cash it. LSU gets blocked by Richards, who kicks out to a for left wing, right wing three. It's good. They're up one. We really just effed ourselves right there, guys. It's like ten missed. Great no looks, and we don't score one of them. So now we're down one point. 19-18, LSU up. Come on, guys. Haggins has it now. Kicks it to Richards, who gets it stolen from him. He's not looking for the defenses. Juzang has it now. Over to Richards for a floater. That's good. Oh, Come on. A liner, like, yeah, Richards oh. with a line drive floater that goes hey, in. It went in. Uh, Kentucky up one point, 20-19. We're under the eight. So we can get a steal, go hard to the basket. They're going to they're gonna want to call a foul. LSU ball, top of the key. Moving screen. They don't call it. Keep Throwing keep around the outside still. Duzang's guarding the ball. They're trying to go on him. They kick it to the right wing for another three-point shot. That's good. Down two. Get a hand of course. Now they're making all their threes. Who's over there? Is that Richards and Brooks? Brooks did nothing to get his hand up. Come on, Brooks, man. Because it's our ball. We're down two. Juzang almost walks it. They don't call it. Maxi has it now. Drives it hard to the hoop to Brooks, who goes strong. It's oh. blocked. Let it go. Man, Brooks is struggling, man. Just gotta keep point. Just gotta keep fighting, Brooks. Just gotta keep fighting. It's gonna pay. It's gonna come through eventually. So LSU's up two points at the under eight timeout, twenty-two to twenty. Really had a stretch there that we could have extended this lead. Instead, we we get two points out of a stretch we could have gotten probably seven or eight points. We could have really extended, but instead now we're just down two. We could easily be up way more. Than nope. this. So it could be worse, but it could be better. Twenty-two twenty LSU up two. Let's see here. Aiden Godfrey says, happy early birthday. Mountain Warriors. Mountain Warriors says, can you drink a blue moon if UK wins? Well, if we have one, I'll think about it if we win. And then Boulder Vaughn says, blue moon with a slice of orange. I think that's true. I know if, what you're talking about. Uh, Mountain Warriors says, relax, guys. Going to be a long night. Hang in there. Uh yeah, it's battle. Boulder Vaughn Brooks take over a game, bro. I could not emphasize that anymore. I agree 100%. Isaac Gaming, BBN. Mountain Warriors, love your passion, guys. Bleed blue. Yep, I believe bleed, bleed. <laughs> I bleed blue, too. It's too many words. Uh, your regular gamer says, I bleed blue, too. <clears throat> In Godfrey, 100%. They're going to have to fight extremely hard if they want to win this game. 
we're gonna have to want it. You regular gamer, I honestly feel bad for Brooks. I, it's just it's just hard. I mean, it's not not every one and done that comes, not every freshman that comes in here is of ready for the NBA. And obviously, he's just what I, what I really like about him is I don't see any. I not I don't want to jinx anything, but he's usually he's not he's very receptive to the stuff that Cal says. Like he's he doesn't he doesn't talk back from what I see. He just takes it. I, I'm sure he fights hard in practice, and he's you can tell he's a little bit lost out there. But I think he's gonna. I'm calling it right now. At some point, Brooks is gonna win us a game. Before the season's over, I know it's going to happen. Well, I'm not saying he's going to score 30 points, but he's going to be the reason we win some games. I feel bad for every player that's not playing great or their potential, obviously. But I mean, I think maybe if he's not, maybe he starts playing better come tournament time. You know, there's like a lead thing, or maybe he just has to go hit the off but, season come back next year. And think about it. I mean, Nick, Nick Nick Richards is a junior. The first two years, he was. I mean. We, we have some we have some footage that you'll see once we start posting our full game reactions. Richards is probably one of the most ridiculed players that we've watched <laughs> in this room for the past two years. And look at him now; he's, he's <laughs> developed into probably a first round NBA draft pick. So it's it's not everyone's on the same path. Everyone's on a different uh, different road. Yes, uh, your regular gamer. He just needs one shot for some confidence. Absolutely, I think a put back dunk would would go miles for him. Hit two free throws last game. Yeah. Uh, Boulder Vaughn, my first UK shirt is 20 years older than Kenny. Wow. <laughs> that was a crazy stunt. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Roberts, hello. Go Big Blue. <clears throat> Mountain Warriors, Brooks is growing up fast now. And we definitely need him, 100%. So it's going to be our ball since they blocked Brooks' shot out of the state of Louisiana. <laughs> so we got the ball back in the court. Now Haggins has it. Shot. Over to Cook at the right wing, who throws back to Haggins. Oh, she's playing some tight defense. Quickly drives it to the hoop, into the corner for Maxi for an open three-point shot that goes no good. Brooks wow. rebounds. Brooks fights for it. Those oh! good save by Brooks. Good job, Brooks. Play right there. Good job, Brooks. That's a heck of a play. I mean, he's right an Brooks. athlete. He's six seven. He's a freaking monster out there. Just play. That's, that's a hustle play right there. That's what he should be focusing hundred percent. Hustle plays, hustle plays, hustle plays. Kentucky ball, we throw it into Brooks, not a, to, over to Haggins. Haggins has it, drives it to the hoop. Good defense by LSU, and he almost steps out, but doesn't step out. Brooks has it, dribbles it around. Over to Maxie now, under 10 on the shot clock. Maxie drives, kicks it to Haggins. Elbow jump shot, no good. And we don't go for the rebound. Dang it, it's a hard shot to rebound. That was Haggins. Well, I know, I, yeah, I agree. Not many people are. 22-20, LSU up. LSU ball way outside the three-point line. Still throwing it around, trying to run some guys off some screens. They almost walk, but they don't call it. They were trying to post up on Maxi. Oh, oh, good, good deflection by Brooks. Haggins steals it. Haggins throws it to Brooks, who about walks and probably did. They don't call it quickly with a floater. That's no good. God dang! No man. That was Brooks really putting some effort in. It's gonna pay off eventually. LSU ball up two. It's a moving screen. You can't do that. Yeah. What is the difference between that and just moving? LSU yeah. has it. They throw it to the top of the key. Now they just hand it off. Still, they're driving inside oh. the arc to the hoop. No good. And Richards pulls on a tough rebound over to Haggins. You were pushing to the front court. Haggins throws it to Quickly, who drives it towards the hoop. Kick, dishes it to Brooks, who goes up strong and puts there it in. Go. Good job, Brooks. Two points. Brooks is showing Use up. that, Brooks. Build off that, man. That's it. A good play out of bounds, yep. a block, and then a good little segment a, from Brooks. Then two points. Definitely continue it now. Continue it. That's what we were just talking about. Yep, he heard us. He definitely did. LSU's ball now. Tie game. They drive hard to the hoop. Nope. Up off the. That was a tough floater for uh, off the backboard for a uh, layup. LSU's up two points. 24-22. I mean, that that is a tough hoop. That's that's a freaking Javante Smart. He's he been there forever too. Tagging has it, drives it hard to the hoop, and they call traveling. He's going nowhere. He needs to be smarter than that. I think that's, I think that's only turnover three at, at the moment. Five. That's five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. No. Five turnovers. Six. Five. Five fouls on the person. Five, five, five no, fouls on one person. Well, yeah, but it's apparently five that's turnovers. five turnovers on a team. I thought it was only three. So either way, that's not horrible. Person. As long as we don't turn it over again. Well, it's either half. five turnovers or I saw four fouls before uh, I know. I think so. I'm pretty so, sure guys, it's turnovers. LSU's ball up two points. They're dribbling it way outside the three-point line right now. Sustain is back in the game. They try to go to the hoop, throw to the corner. 
Yeah. Dribble, yeah. Dribbling it around. Top of the key, three for LSU. He shoots it and no good. And Maxi with a good rebound. Our ball. Down two. Maxi dribbling it around. Drives it towards the hoop. Puts up a floater. That's no good again. Our, we've not had one many floaters go down tonight. Got to have you scoring, Maxi. LSU drives hard to the hoop. Puts it up and no good. But they rebound it. Put it up and no good again. And quickly gets it. And they steal it and put it in. Fouled? You think he reached in? Quickly, that's soft, man. Be strong with the mother of the ball. So there's 4.05 to go in the first half. LSU's up four. We got to get a bucket here. Yeah, get all excited, so, bud. It's the first half. You joke. It's freaking seven loss. Bombs, bomb, house, mother. I mean, LSU's a must win situation. Maxie's got used to the screen over to Sestina for a three point shot. That's no good. God dang it, man. You got to hit that, that Nate. That's a, a good look. Good look. I want to see him. I want to see him take one more. So LSU's got it now at the left wing for another three-point shot. That's no good. We've got to score. Haggins has it. Drives it hard up the court. Throws it over to Sestina, who lays it. Good play. Twenty-four, twenty-six. LSU up two. LSU with yeah. a good or Nate Nate Sestina with a good response there after a miss three see, running down the court. It's always a good. It's always on aim. Good shot. I want to see another one from him yep. on the top of the key. It's Keep shooting always it. On, Keep shooting it. Shut on frame. Uh, LSU drives to the hoop and no good, but I think he's going to line for two shots. That's a foul. We got lucky he didn't, he didn't make that layup, so we'll take that as a win. So we're down two points with 3.12 to go in the first half. And is this the play here? Look at this crap. Quickly. No, it's not. No, no, it is. Good. Quickly. It's just really bad by quickly. Yeah, but okay. I know. LSU. You that guys are you with me. LSU, I, I do not like LSU in any sport. But that's the thing now. But he had the ball. You can't go across his body like that. You can't. That's a reach. Okay. You can't go across his body. You can't do that. That's called a reach in basketball. Okay, guys. You reach across someone's body like that. Yeah. You do it every public play. Aiden Godfrey. Uh, Cal should try and keep some players that uh, keep some players, get some guys who want to play for uh, four years and get all the Ameri all the, the all Americans is how I think it would work best. I agree. I, we, we definitely need to get a few more players that are going to be guys that stay three and four years. And honestly, two and three. I'll take two and three with this situation. Two. But yeah, it's it's definitely we've had teams that are that are beyond talented enough to win a championship. But we've only gotten one when we really should have gotten more. But I agree. I definitely agree. C. Trizzy, let's go, Kentucky. Mountain Warriors, good job, Brooks. Yeah, really good segment from Brooks there. We cannot overlook that. Excellent segment. Uh, Dan Daniel Chaney, they should play uh, Dante Allen. I I was saying, I think, three or four games ago, I thought we I thought I was hearing some rumors. I, was, I thought I heard through the grapevines that uh, Dante Allen was getting ready to have his, his first game play. But at this point – I, it's really hard for me to see him playing because Cal said he doesn't want to burn his red shirt. But here's my argument to that. I mean, how many guys are going to stay four years anyway? I mean, just let him play. I, unless he's unless he knows he's staying four years, which no one really knows that, then it's – I don't know. I, we could definitely use another body coming off the bench. And I, I just want to see what this guy can do, see what kind of element and aspects he can bring to our team. But I agree, though. It, it would be a waste as long as – unless he could actually contribute. Uh, Brooks, yeah, once again, Mountain Warriors. Brooks with really good hustle plays. And then Aiden Godfrey, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, it's definitely – it's a little too late to waste an entire year to play two months. But if he can contribute and help us bring home a title, then it would be worth every second he could be out there. But I, I do agree with what you're saying. Uh, Boulder Vaughn, soft, gets strong in the ball, the rock. I agree. That's That was why we just gave a layup there. Because Cookie, he's putting out a dribble just – be strong with the ball and let guys run by you. Yeah, yeah this is, let's say so there's 24-26 LSU winning with three something to go. We need to get just let's try to get another shot attempt by Sestina and let's try to pound it down low to Richards or Brooks or yeah, right now. I really want to see another <laughs> shot from Sestina. I really want to see another shot before the half. If we can get to 30 before the half, that'd be pretty good. I mean, we can still get our goal if we just if we make a shot here, we can get it. We can get our goal of 35, but don't score this next one. It's going to be tough. LSU's going to line for two shots. First shot's up and good. We're lucky this wasn't an M1, so. 
Peace. Could be three points, not two. 27-24, LSU up three. But they're perfect from the line. They haven't missed today. They haven't missed yet. They haven't missed. LSU's second shot's up and good, so we're down four right now. 28-24, LSU up. Wow, the perfect free throw shooting LSU. Nate Sestina hands it off to Juzang, who has not done much yet so far tonight. Baggins has it, top of the key right now. Running quickly off some screens. They switch it, get it into uh, Sestina at the baseline, kicks it back out to Haggins, who fakes the pass Shit. to Juzang. Back inside of Sestina for hook shot. That's no good. Dang, dang it. LSU ball at four. We're in trouble here. We got to get, we gotta get oh, a big time stop. Got to get a stop. Start. LSU has the ball way outside the three point line right now. Juzang's on a tough, this is a tough matchup. He yeah, uses him, but they call a push off. That was a fortunate call for us. I don't know. He pushed I do not like that matchup. I think Juzang just ran by. I don't think he got yeah, pushed. He yeah. Well, their best player has two fouls. I, going, Go right at him. going forward, Juzang cannot be matched up on – is that Smart? Or is, no, that's Maze. Mysterious Maze, isn't it? Is that his name? Yeah, or Skyler Maze. Richard's got picked up some plays. So, uh, yeah, Richard's kind of – he's got to really do something here. 2.30 to go in the first half. We're down four, but it's our ball. Over to quickly the top of the key. Inside of Richards for a left-hand hook shot. That's good. Nice. Right on cue. Good shot, Richards. Yeah. 28-26, uh, LSU up two, LSU ball. Over to a no. – oh, good oh, deflection shit. by Richards. And Juzang almost grabs ball. it. But it's LSU's ball still 18 seconds in the shot clock. Got to scrap out those loose balls, 50-50 balls. Oh, oh, good. Almost a steal by Haggins. They throw it to – oh, and a steal by Quickly. And quickly has it. Throws it up court to Juzang, who needs to go strong, and gets blocked. And Sestina grabs it. God dang it! What are we doing? We knew there was guys there. So LSU ball up to – they drive it to the hoop, and Richards, good defense. And Sestina with a monster rebound goes to the Richards, and that's our ball. Dunk the ball. Juzang, that is the softest thing I've seen this year. If I could dunk, I would dunk every last flipping time I could possibly dunk. So Haggins has it now. We're down to 26-28. Quickly has it, top of the key. Inside of Richards, he's double-teamed. Kick it to Juzang for a three-point shot. That rolls. Uh, goes in and out. Justina's hustling. LSU ball. We already made it. Cannot hit threes. Yeah, I know. LSU has it in the corner. They throw it away, and it's our ball. Yes. Turnover LSU. Let's take Make advantage that hurt. of this. I mean, Juzang's three hit, he just took – it was a good shot. Yeah, I mean, a we've good had shot. shots go in and out. It's, we just got to knock him down. That's a good shot. And here, that's that's actually, that was shot. a great second because Richards has it inside. He's getting triple team. If he kicks it out, we're going to have open, open guys. That, that's a great shot by Juzang. I mean, it's just a, it didn't fall. Yeah. But I'd really like to see Juzang just dunk the ball when he gets down there. Yeah. I mean, they can't block – I mean, they can block a dunk. It's a lot more difficult yeah. to block a dunk. So, quick, quickly has it outside the three-point line right now. We hand it off to Haggins. Minute 10 to go in the first half. Let's go on a little run here. Haggins passes over to Quickly. We're trying to get into Richards. Quickly fakes it. Drives to the hoop. Puts foul. it up off the glass. No fouls called. LSU ball really? going the other way. And Quickly steals yeah. it. Good job, Quick. Now, let's go. Call the foul or take it right back, refs. And we're going to call Please. timeout because we, we, we'll lose it if we don't call it. So, good timeout. They don't want to give quickly the foul. I'll just take the ball right back. They're yelling it quickly, but that was a good hustle play by quickly. Great hustle play by quickly to go back and, and now, get the steal. If we score here, they get the ball, stop them, get the last shot. Yeah. That the ideal finish this half is a bucket here, get a stop, drill a three from but someone. The most likely we're not going to get this back with the time to run out. They're most likely going to get a shot up before. Before the thirty, so we're gonna have we'll to get see. a shot. How much time's left? Fifty-two. So they're fifty. Yeah, there's a chance we could get the last shot. They have twenty seconds to get this up before it's gonna be a shot. But we're at the rebound now. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to get a stop first. No. Either way, we're gonna uh, get a Grandma or uh, Sharon, are you out there tonight? Uh, say Sharon. Let me see. No, Sharon. Your regular gamer, the only way LSU will win is if Skyler Mays plays good. That's definitely a big key for them. They have some other guys. They have a freshman. I think his name is Tremont Waters. He has two that fouls. Whoever I'm thinking about, they're a freshman. He's a five-star guy. That's pretty good. And they got some other solid players, too. They are they're, they got some experienced guys, but they're we'll see. I mean, Skyler Mays is definitely their best player, most important player. Your regular gamer, you think Juzang's going to transfer? I, I don't think so. I Definitely not this year. We'll see. I think he'll be a big piece to our team next year. 
So it's our ball, 52.7 seconds. We throw it in. It's plenty of time in the shot clock, 20 seconds. We're drawing up. We just drew up a play, so let's see what we drew up here. Pass over to Sestina, hand off to Quickly, back to Haggins. Moving around. We get Massey open for a baseline jump shot. That's no good. And Sestina grabs it. Good rebounds. Hold it. Hold it. A, a th open three-point shot for Haggins. Good. Yes. Good job. Ashton. There we go. We're up one point, 29-28. Hey, they can just, hold for the last shot. still get the ball back. They call timeout because they'll lose their time. They don't call it. There's a Big three. That is a huge rebound by Nate Sestina. Mark that seriously. down. Surprised they didn't call a, a foul man. on him, but he got the rebound. He fights hard. It's, it, that's why I love guys like that. I, I I cannot argue with our hustle tonight so far. We've had some great hustle plays. Brooks, quickly, just Sestina a few times. Even Montgomery when he was before he got two fouls. There's two threes. Now we two threes. We definitely still get this ball back. And no matter what happens, as quickly showed that one game, yep. even getting up a freaking half court heave can make a big difference. I'd much rather see a half court heave than just not even do anything. Yep. So they're gonna shoot this, they're gonna get a shot up, and we could potentially get more points. Just let's get the stop first. Yep, get a stop here and maybe get a shot off. At least just get a stop. But, yeah, UK's up one point, guys, 29-28, with 24.2 seconds to go in the half. The shot clock's turned off. LSU ball. They're going to inbound it on the far side of the court. They get it in. 20 seconds to go. LSU almost walked. but he Watch that pivot foot. His pivot foot's his left foot. They never call that. They never call he, he puts it. He puts it around. Their ball, 10 seconds to go. They're just kind of passing it around, not doing anything right now. They get into their best player in the corner, back out to the wing area, to the top of the key. Their freshman drives in on quickly, puts it up, and no good. They put it up, no, no good, and we get a good stop. UK is going to have a one-point lead That's going to the half. Good, defensive good defense by our Cats. 29-28, UK winning at the half. And Coach of LSU is not happy. Landon Markham, good to see you, man. That was a very rare three right there. Coach Kyle's talking right now. Kyle's just saying the obvious. He's saying we got to hit shots. We're up one point no, and we're not hitting shots. How many shots do we miss? How are we winning? <laughs> well, his, his statement is always you, you don't have to make them all, but you can't miss them all. You just can't miss them all. And we definitely mm. missed a lot. We missed basically every floater. We missed a lot of shots overall, and we're up one point, 29-28, which is pretty crazy. Boulder Vaughn, way to battle, Blue. Yeah, huge, really good fight so far tonight, especially in a game that we're not shooting too well, and we're still up one point at half. Yeah, we have two threes, which I think cancels things out. We really haven't been to the free throw line that much, so I really don't know where our points have come from. No. Brooks has scored some. I mean, I, I really I don't know who's who the points are right now. Who scored the points? Uh, threes from people, but it's it's been pretty spread out for the most part. We've had. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'm gonna do a rundown of the, of the box score in a second. But uh, in Godfrey, what's your, what's y'all's uh, thoughts on the rest of the season and what seed will they end up with? Well, I mean, there's still uh, five and a half games to go before we get to Nashville. And uh, my prediction as of right now, if they were to seed this thing with our record right now, I think we're probably sitting at a – I think we should be a three seed, but I'm hearing more of the four and five range. But honestly, I think three, four right now is where we're at. We could possibly slip to a five maybe, maybe even a six. I definitely, not, I definitely I'd say think, three or four. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have the chance to be a one, two, or three. But yeah. I, I do – I right now I see us probably ending up – I see us personally ending up maybe in a four – but I, I'm obviously hoping for the highest seed. I definitely think we can easily pull off a three if we win this game and go on a little run, finish out this, see tournament strong. But yeah, I'm hoping for a three. Obviously, hope for a one. Mm -hmm. But I'm hope. I think. I think I'll go with four right now. But I'm hoping we can slide up to three. If other teams lose. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I, here's my thoughts here. We have so six games to go in the regular season, including this one. Three road games, three home games. You got to. I mean, I think we're capable of winning all six, but at least win five out of six, or yeah. at least win four out of six. But five and six would be ideal. Uh, Ian Sebastian, let's go. Landon Markham, feed Nick Richards. Definitely, we got to go right to him in the second half, and also take advantage of getting EJ back in the second half since he's 
now. He'll be able to play for a second before they give him another foul. He scored our first four points, and then he got taken out. Uh, let's see. Older Vaughn, when the night can move up two spots to number eight next week uh, with the win. Uh, I definitely we would definitely think if we won these two games this week, we would at least move it hopefully two spots. But then again, the NCAA does not like us. I could. Oh yeah, that's and that's Border Vaughn. That's totally true. You went out solid two, win the SEC tournament. I agree. If you, if we went out, we could be a one seed, but that's that's saying a lot. But we'll see. Two would be a great finish this season. Uh, let's see. Here's here's Lee's analysis of the half. Ugly stats from both. We were up on the blocks and uh, rebounds. And we've turned we've turned them over two extra times. Kind of surprised. It felt worse. Fight through them. Fight through the ball screens. I agree. That's that's a good analysis right there. It is a kind of a shocking half to me too. It's like I really feel like we should be losing by the way just because the way we're playing. I mean, that's usually when you miss when you miss that many shots and you uh, do some do some of the things that we've been doing, it is kind of surprising. Not not only just to have the lead, but have the lead on the road and like, it's a really good team like this. Well, no, that's the thing is I, I do think uh, while we weren't making a lot of our shots and LSU made a couple threes just like us, but I think they were also – they went on a really big drought too. Mm -hmm. I think that's the main reason why we're winning is they were missing a lot of shots too. I mean, we missed a lot. I think our threes kind of canceled each other out. They Similar really, to last game. We both made all our free throws. I think they had a little more than us. We, we're playing pretty even with them. <clears throat> little fun fact here, guys, before I get to the rest of the comments here. Baylor has a player on their team that I played against in high school, Macy Oteague. It's uh, safe to say no one on my high school team could guard him at this high school he was at. Now, going into the week that we played then, I was on JV. Well, actually, the year before I was on JV, and uh, I got to be Macy Oteague in practice, so I had to shoot as much as I wanted. I, I probably wasn't the best comparison to Macy Oteague. But, okay, so anyway, uh, let's see. Mountain Warriors, Jake and Kenny, what was your favorite memory from the SEC tournament in Nashville from the past? Uh, I went to the 2015 uh, SEC tournament, the year that we were 38 now, and uh, we got to see a lot of games. Uh, we, we did get uh, the one Kentucky game we went to was uh, the Kentucky Florida game, the game that we beat them for the third time. And uh, just, we, our seats were kind of far away, but it was just amazing to be in that building. How many it, that place is all Kentucky fans. It was like a beyond a home game. And my favorite moment, honestly, was actually not a Kentucky game. It was uh, Auburn was playing LSU, and Auburn had Bruce Pearl there. We were sitting right behind their bench, and Auburn was not favored in that game. LSU was ranked, and they hit a huge three that I was filming on my like two phones ago. And you can see me on the on the TV like filming right there, and it's kind of cool to see that live. Just just being that close to any game was just amazing. Can anyone give you a moment? Yeah, probably not. The game's probably the line. I just cover all the rest of the comments. That's what they did. God, just, just, we'll get it, but just cover the rest of the comments. I don't know what it is, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on. I'm, I'm on the freaking score. Wait, I don't even see where the – oh, yeah, I can. It's poop on the score. Wait, scar. is it? Poop on the score. Right here. That's what yeah, you're don't, about. don't, don't, don't relive it. Yeah, but anything else, let's see here. Uh, we got a – oh, Brayton McQuarrie says go LSU, but then says just kidding. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey no. you're all fans. It's not a big deal. We're not going to kick you out of here. You know, that's the thing. Uh, we're, we're more than, we're more than uh, no, we're welcome yeah. for other for other teams to definitely come in here. I, mean, I, think, no. I think you can come in here to say F. Kentucky and stuff, but, I mean, I, I think it would be better if you keep it civil. But, you know. <laughs> but then Braden McQuarrie, you want. <laughs> Braden McQuarrie says three, three or two, one comment, two, two comments later, LSU equals loser state university. <laughs> go on, go on. Uh Hey, Lee, I, I Lee, respect their football program. I respect Joe Burrow. No, I respect Joe Burrow. I don't respect it. Back. That's it. <laughs> Lee Martin, if we scrap out, if we scrap a win down here, it's time, it's time to stop with this bull crap. Four or five seeds. Stop it, bracket Joe. No, no, I agree. If we win this game and we win most of the games the rest of the season, I, I don't, I don't really, I think we're good enough to be a, I think we're good enough to be a two or, two or, th definitely a two seed. I mean, this year it's like being a one doesn't mean. It's, it, I don't know. It's just like the seating's not going to matter as much. I think it's going to be more location, but I, I agree. I, we're we're way better than a four or five. Heck, we're the number ten team in the country just by those numbers alone. Isn't that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Yeah, that's that's a three seed. Oh, I can answer Mount Morris question. I forgot it was halftime. <laughs> I forgot it was halftime. Oh yes, I mean I don't really have. I didn't really witness many crazy games at the Nashville. 
But I mean, I guess if I had a fond memory, I like watching Kentucky, obviously. I love watching Kentucky. But I mean, one of my more fond memories I remember is the South Carolina coach and his coaching method. I remember being on the court and how he would just scream at the players. And he really was like a drill sergeant down there because of the way he was yelling at the players. And he was very, very intimidating. And if he was a coach, that'd be very intimidating for sure. But South Carolina coach, that was definitely a fun thing to watch him down there. And I don't, I'm not a big fan of South Carolina, but I'm, I am a big fan of him after watching that game. He's very interesting to watch him. So, uh, in a, honestly, so both of our moments came from like a really crazy coach being that close to West yeah. Dome. Uh, Boulder Vaughn. <laughs> I played against Chauncey Billups here in Colorado in high school. Wow, that is that's much that's a much better uh, story than my than mine. Of just being on the bench when we played a guy that's on a good team. That's that's awesome. Chauncey Billups is honestly one of my favorite players as a kid watching him. <laughs> oh my god, Dad! It's, <laughs> uh, oh, that's just that's crazy though. Aiden Godfrey, got to be honest with y'all. I'm I'm a Kansas fan. Hey, you don't have to, you can be honest. I mean, hey. I, there's not many teams. That even I, I can't stand Duke or Louisville, but I mean, I, one of my best friends is a Duke fan, and I, so I met someone here that's a Louisville fan. I, I'm, I'm able to to get along with anyone that's, as long as they're not talking too much crap. Hey, as long as as long as you give uh, the person 24 hours after the loss to handle it, then you can say whatever you want. Besides Kansas, you guys are looking really good this year. As long once you guys get your full team back, you guys definitely have a chance to. Uh, Lock up a one seed, probably. Yeah, I guess even even without their the players they lost, they were still winning. So they they actually, I well, what are they seated to? Well, they're up there right now. I'll have to really double check that. But the thing I was going to say they're was, really consistent. You have a guy on your team that I remember watching millions and millions of uh, mixtapes in high school because I thought for sure I wanted to do Doka Azubuki to go to Kentucky, and he's still there. It's just like I still remember in high school watching his mixtapes and uh, like at lunch and study hall and stuff. So definitely a guy that. Drives me crazy because I knew I, I don't know how much of a shot we had, but I just kept I just knew we offered him. Uh, let's see, your regular gamer. I don't like Kansas, but they are good. I agree. I agree. Mountain Warriors. What's on the scarf next to you? Guys? I think I think we got it handled. <laughs> Hopefully, there's not uh, more stuff. Over there. left us a present. Yeah. So that whole half, we were literally sitting next to. <laughs> so uh, maybe that's why we weren't making shots. Uh, let's see. Mountain Warriors, Go Big Blue, BBN. Boulder Vaughn, no Duke, no Louisville, but I at least respect Frog Allen Fieldhouse. <laughs> or Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I, it's not. Frog Allen Fieldhouse. Sorry, guys. It's late on a Tuesday night. I'm tired. Just kidding. Uh, that, is, that, that is an amazing arena. Aiden Godfrey, right? I wish we would have played this year. I was starting to like our series a lot. I know. I Right now, we only – oh, it's true. I know we were actually going back and forth for the Big 12 deal. But, yeah, maybe we'll get that next year. I, I would say we'll play you guys next year. But at the same time, I feel like they're going to stick us with, with Baylor. But we'll see. I think we're going to get stuck with UC. No, no, no. Like for the Big 12 SEC Challenge. You know, you play one Big 12 team oh, each year. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, they're definitely going to stick us in UC. We'll talk about that in a separate video. We can do a full NCAA tournament day last year. Yeah. yeah. Guys, keep that in mind. This is in the future. We'll probably do a live stream for uh, Selection Sunday to talk about like what's going on and stuff. Any, any Sounds like a good idea. Any final remarks? But uh, let's see. Boulder Vaughn, number two winningest program ever behind who again? Oh, yeah, Big Blue. Yeah. <laughs> when is Kansas going to be punished? Oh, uh, oh, Kentucky Fan 15 says. Uh, for the chair thing, I'm guessing. I mean – I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of teams. I think North Carolina is the one that I'm most concerned. I'm most confused by why they haven't gotten any probation stuff or whatever. But I mean, I, there's just we'll see. And see, honestly, the, the way the NCAA works, they hold things for so long that you'll never really see the rulings on things for years and years and years. But anyway, yeah, we're all good right now. We're not even playing Kansas tonight. No, no reason to get mad at Kansas people right now. <laughs> but I agree. I, I do. I, I think North Carolina is the one that I think needs to be punished at some point. Movie Mania, who was your favorite Kentucky player in the Cal Perry era? Let's see. It's a good one. Boulder Vaughn says his favorite player was Cat uh, the Brow. 
Uh, for a second, I thought you, you were going to say Cat as in K A T is Carl Anthony Towns, but I think you, you're talking about Anthony Davis. Yeah. Uh, your, your regular gamer, Anthony Davis, Boulder Vaughn, the Brow. Right there. Uh, Kenneth. That you can't see, dude. Yeah, no. Yeah. Here, here's here's Anthony the Davis light. where the light perfectly blocks his face <laughs> every night, no matter where we put this laptop. So that is Anthony Davis. There now it's not. Now it's back. But, uh, <laughs> the light perfectly blocks his Kenneth, face. Kenneth Berryman, what's going on? Let's see, I guess since you, since they, he's asked that question, uh, let's see. I do. Me, me, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. so my question. my favorite player in the Cal Party era. That is a tough question. I've loved so many of the players. It is. I think personally, my favorite player is probably probably Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, this guy right here, just because not only did I, not just not just that I met him, but I just felt like he was like one of the nicest like coolest guys i ever like got to meet and just watch on tv He's, he always had a smile on his face it's it's a shame that that, that team didn't win a championship it yeah. really is it's a it's a crime but yeah it, it, there's a lot i mean if i i wish i the next time we'll say top five players because i could list yeah, so many yeah. guys it's but yeah definitely daniel chase is dominique hogan that is a good one that's a good one he stayed four years gave us four great years yeah, I, I definitely like talking to like Willis. I really like obviously Towns Davis were amazing yeah. cousins. John Wall. I, there's Willie Cauley Stein was one in particular that I really liked. <laughs> and we'll go down as one of my more favorite players, mainly because of some boss walks he had in games. Yeah, he is definitely <laughs> he, out there. He definitely started some cramp. He gave but, us three years though. But yeah, he gave us three years, had some awesome dunks. He's up there. But if I had to pick one, it might be Tyler Yolis. No, oh, Yolis is a good option. Because he was the kind of guy who he was so small, but yet he was so amazing. And on the court, you really couldn't even tell because he was that amazing. He'd be able to make shots over seven foot guys. He would steal passes. He was in, he was quicker than lightning. Mm -hmm. He might be my, one of my more favorite players. But yeah, I can't count to a. I, I think Ulysses would probably be my top guy if he would have stayed four years. The fact that he's only stayed two oh. still rubs me the wrong way. Because where's Ulysses now? He should have been a four year but, player. I mean, John but, Wall's up there, obviously. John, John Wall always. for us was like our first major player we've ever watched. So like when we, when we heard him on the radio and saw him, we were like, this is like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, this guy's amazing. Yeah. Like every, he did do some amazing stuff, like behind the back stuff. Like, and we were also at our youngest, like watching his games at that point. Like we watched games before that, but that was the one year that we really remember just how, I remember when we lost to West Virginia in the tournament, I cried for like two hours. Well, and Brandon Knight is up there too, because mainly the poster over on the wall over there at the Ohio State game. That's, yeah, that was one option. of the biggest games of my life. That was a team that it was bragging rights at school. It was one of the biggest games ever. And Brandon Knight brought us to a good run. He's up there. Wow. Boulder Vaughn, Towns. Okay, all right, so Carl Towns, then Andy Davis for you. And Daniel Chaney, bam. That's a good one too. I, he was a good, great player. It's just it's it, we've had so many players because you get all these one and done. It, it is hard. Well, all to do question not now is the second half about to start, but uh, next question for maybe next game will be who is your starting five lineup for all the Cal players since he's gotten here until now? Like, what would your starting five look like? You don't do that now as the game's about to start, but uh, we say second half starting right now. Oh, there's there's still a little preview, but it's about to start though. Base. It's gonna be LSU ball. I believe there's no jump balls. Karen Martin says go big blue, definitely. What, what was? And then Mountain that? Warriors, Davis and Towns like, can't go wrong with those guys. They're great players. Both number one picks too. Boulder Vaughn, favorite player ever, Rex Chapman. Hey, I, I was not around, or at least I, I don't remember watching him, but I, I definitely know who you're talking about. Is that the radio guy? Or no, he's not the radio guy. But I, I know who you're talking about. We are starting the second half right now. LSU ball. UK up one. LSU's got it. They drive it towards the hoop. They put it up and no good. And Richards and they call. What, they call goaltending. They call goaltending. I don't know how that's goaltending, but so count the basket for LSU. Uh, they're up one point, thirty to twenty-nine. LSU. Boulder Vaughn, go big blue. Yes, sir. LSU almost steals it, but it's our ball still. Come on, guys. Goodness. Keep playing, man. Let's keep playing. Did you see that? Jeez. <laughs> Trailer? No, it's this movie called The Ritual. Oh. 
Who was Antlers? Kiss. No, but I want to see that. Did you see the trailer for Kiss? No, I thought I saw Antlers. Yeah. That. The no, UK that. ball now. Haggins has got it. Uh, dribbles it around. Does a little fake dribble. Kicks out to Maxi. Maxi drives it towards the right side. Kicks it to Quickly, who goes to the basket strong. Kicks it out to Haggins for an open three point shot. That's good. Oh. Haggins with his second three of the night. That's the first. That's the first time in a while that Haggins has two threes in a game in a while. Damn. So UK up two points, 32 to 30. UK up. They throw it into a guy who misses a shot, and they call it late foul. What? That is a late chicken call on the refs right there. So EJ Montgomery has picked up his third foul like that. What do we even say at halftime? What do we yeah, flipping say? That was such a late call too. You see, he didn't call it, and then he like decided to call it. This play, he this player when he shot it, he fell on purpose. That was a little other basketball news here. I just saw the bottom of the screen. John Beeline just got fired. Or he's out as the Cavs coach, if anyone cares about that. And he just got there this year. But hey, back to Kentucky here. Uh, yeah, it's hard to uh, – It's back going back to that one thing. It's hard for me to say any favorite players out of the Calipari era because, like I said, I'm only 20. So that's been my life, Kentucky. It's hard to think back beyond it. LSU's oh. first shot is no good. Man, that call there, guys, if you're watching it, then you guys already know what I'm talking about. But he, this guy did a fadeaway shot, and as he let go of the ball, he was already falling. And that was not – he did not miss that shot because Montgomery fouled him. That was not a horrible call. So LSU's going to shoot a second free throw here. Cecina just came back in the game for EJ because EJ's at three fouls now. Man, EJ, he started out so good, and the fouls have really kept him on the sideline. Oh, she missed the second free throw. Missed both free throws. Got to make it pay for that. Yeah. Kentucky ball now. Up two. Up two with the ball. 32-30. UK up. Haggins has it outside the three-point line. Dribbles it around. Uses a screen from Richards, who kicks out to quickly. Looks like we're going to reset. Quickly drives it hard to the basket. Fakes it. Puts it up. And in. Yes! Up four. 34-30. Yeah, we'll just keep it down a little bit. People in the house are starting to fall asleep. Well, we do too. <laughs> but, uh, oh, LSU has it almost a steal. They put it up and no good, but Sestina tips it to no one. And LSU grabs it, but then yeah. Sestina grabs it again. Sestina battling. Haggins yeah, has numbers. it, dribbles up the court. Haggins does a good pass to Maxi, who kicks out to quickly, who fakes a three. Kicks it to, oh, should have kicked it to Sestina. Does kick it to Sestina. Richards at a free throw line jump shot that's no good. Don't like that. Gosh darn it. Had a couple good chances there. LSU ball down four. A good block by Sestina. Great block. Maxi has it now. We're going the other way. Maxi drills it hard to the basket. Euro oh. step and one. No, yeah. And one. Yeah. And one. And one for Maxi. We're up six. Going to line for a free throw. 18.08 to go in the game. Long way to go. We just got to keep playing. Man, what a. Sestina is giving us some major bonuses today. He might not have scored, but he's given us some effort. He didn't even touch Maxi. Maxi didn't touch. He was in the arc too. He was really going. That was a <laughs> yeah, not, that was a joke. He was in the arc anyway. The charging arc. Maxi's free throws up and good. We're up seven. Thirty-seven thirty. UK up. Eighteen minutes to go. Keep scoring. Got to keep scoring. Got to keep playing basketball. Okay, guys, LSU's got the ball way outside the three-point line. They try to get a screen, don't really use it. Quickly's on the ball right now. They kick it to the corner, back to the guy who had the ball, who does a spin move. They get it inside, and they call a cheap foul on Quickly, and Quickly got, just got banged in the knee. He just banged in the knee. Qu Quickly's down, up. but I think he just got banged in the knee. He should be good. I mean, he went straight up. I mean, Come on, quickly just shake it off, man. He went straight up. What do you that was a to weird do? possession right there. Weird possession. We see a replay. So quickly he's gonna check out now. I think he's fine. He just Come he just banged quickly. his knee a little bit. He just banged his knee. Even just said uh, he banged his knee. So it looks like LSU's going to the line for a. Two free throws here. That, that was really a weird segment right there. But LSU's at the line for two shots. UK up seven. LSU's first shot is up and good. Six-point game. 
That's when it was. Also, oh, he, he it happened way before he even got the foul. Yeah, I'd like to see the shot where he got the foul. No, 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 what a chicken. Because it wasn't a foul. So they went right at a guy that was hurt. Way to go, LSU. So LSU makes both free throws. The game is back to five. We're up 37-32. <clears throat> Haggins dribbles in the, throws it in the front court to Maxi. Maxi kicks into the corner for Juzang for a three-point shot. That's nice. good. Big time three for Juzang. We're up eight points. Now. 40 to, 30, 40 to 32, UK up. Let's see if I can get Juzang going here in the second half. LSU's ball. LSU dribbles it around. They kick it to the, to the wing for a three-point no! shot. That's, that goes in. Weird-looking shot. It didn't look like it was going to go in, but that's their best player. Five-point game. They answer our – oh, his foot was on the line. Oh, never mind. ESPN, you mother effers. So it's a five-point game. Haggins has it now. Kicks it out to Juzang, who – doesn't shoot. Kicks over to Maxi. We're trying to get into Richards. Maxi goes hard to the hoop, off the glass, and Foul? good take, but doesn't go in. Good take by Maxi. LSU ball. UK up five. It's been a tough game. LSU ball now. They drive it in. Kick it back out. Yeah. They get it to the baseline area. Richards is on the ball. They kick it to the wing, who fakes a three, gets it back to the baseline. And they call a foul. I think he set that out of bounds anyway, though. It's on the ground, so no free throws. Foul on Maxi. I have no idea. What is he supposed to do? He just falls into Maxi and that's a foul? What a what a great way to break the press though. You break the press and then drive in and kick it for a three. That was great movement for Kentucky right there. How is that a foul? That's just stupid. So it's LSU's ball, UK at five. They kick it for a wing three for LSU. That's no good, and we grab it. What? They call it. They call a foul away from the ball on Juzang for holding a guy. Juzang, come on, man. Don't don't get a technical, though. That was a really bad call right there, guys. That was not a – And guess what? We won't see this replay. It was like – so, like, they Watch. missed a three-point shot, and we had the rebound easily. And they say that he hold, he held someone, but it didn't matter because the ball went way over here. And we won't but see But quickly, he's back in the game. So, LSU's ball now. They get it inside. They put it up and in. They just hit Sestina in the face. And Rich in the face, unless they bang heads on each other. So UK is up three now, forty to thirty-seven. The That's refs good. really just gave the LSU a, a good break there. After the refs just given the points, now it's three because LSU can't do it themselves. Yep. LSU ball or Kentucky ball, up three. We get it over to Maxi who drives it hard. It's a foul. You better call. You just called it on us too. Yeah. A foul. Oh. He he said foul, and now it's just out of bounds off LSU. What? The guy literally just went like this, but then changed to this. Wow. Nice this job, is a, This Rev. means foul. So, anyway, it's our ball up three. Okay. Kentucky ball now. Haggins has it. Uh, almost tries to get to Cena. He does get to Cena. Back to Maxi. Maxi drives it hard to the hoop, flips it up, and no good. But Richards tips it around. Fights for it, does get it, throws it up in the air. Same team. Oh, same team. Haggins runs into Maxi, knocks him down. God. Throw to Max or quickly in the corner. Quickly resets. Man, Haggins just killed Maxi on that loose ball. Hey, that's right good here. hustle, though. Good, dude. You've been your flop, Max. UK ball, 10 seconds in the shot clock. Quickly drives hard to the hoop. Whoa. Puts it in. What? He took him, he that took him is to school. Move. Quickly takes him to school. We're up five good, points, dude. 42 to 37. He just juke him out of his shoes. Uh. Let's see. For, uh, LSU was about to shoot a three, but doesn't. Now they have the ball at the elbow area on Richards. They're trying to post up quickly. Quickly is playing good defense. They face up, go hard to the hoop, put it up. No good off the – or it was good off the glass. Good good basket by their play, their Skyler Mays. That's, he's their best player. That's where three, quickly needs yeah. a flop. The three-point three game, 42-39, UK up three. And we're way under the 16, so next dead ball is going to be a TV timeout. So let's just go attack the basket. Quickly no. drives hard to the hoop just like we thought. No good, but he gets fouled. Thanks. Yeah, quickly. God. Quickly's laying on the ground. I think he just hit the ground hard. He's okay. He, just, he hits the ground kill. a lot. When he lands like that, I mean, it's going to hurt eventually. But Quickly's going to line for two shots, and we're up by three points. Got to keep battling. That's one thing with LSU. Remember that Alabama game? No matter how much they're down, it's always close to the end. So well, yeah. they're, they're a scrapping team. They're – they're hard to beat by a lot. I'm tell you yeah, that right it now. It really depends on whether we just continue keep, continue battling and keep make keep playing until the end here. And yeah. down the stretch, make our free throws to put them away, which we usually do. Let's see here. Uh, Mountain Warriors, Kyle Macy for a throwback. 
Also, go big blue. The Monster Mash, 24. Mountain Warrior said too. Boulder Vaughn, I grew up in the Mashburn heydays. Oh, okay, okay. Logan Malone, BBN. And then Boulder Vaughn, here we go. Tony Dalk, baby, best game in college history. Yeah, I, I missed him on ESPN, on uh, SEC Network. He was always on there a lot. <clears throat> you should start trying to be an assistant for UK eventually. Boulder Vaughn, I agree. Definitely a good battle going on right now. Got to keep it going. Then Aiden Godfrey, Sestina. Uh, Sestina going to win this game with Hustle. So far, he's doing just that. He's got to keep it up. He's giving us some major boosts off the bench yeah, tonight. For sure. Uh, Landon Markham fouling us. Yeah, here comes the fouls again. It's like I, I, I'll live with us when we foul, but not with these chicken calls that don't affect the play. Like that foul on Juzang was away from the yeah, ball. What is that? And not only does it take away a rebound for us going the other way, it gives them two points if they score the next, uh, the, the very next play. So they just momentum shift their way. It's just, come on. Landon Markham, he is always on the floor. LOL. Are you talking about, uh, oh, quickly? I know. Yeah, seriously. He is always falling on the ground. Yeah. Uh, Ian Sebastian quickly is getting getting beat up. He really is. A lot of it's on his on his own though. He's got to know to not some of it. land on his body like that. He, I mean, he, but you can't fault him for playing hard. Uh, that's true. He does. He does take some of those hits where or some of those plays where he goes up and goes down on the ground to really sell it, yeah. and that definitely can happen. But he is getting killed though. Some of that. Yeah. Landon Markham, the SEC refs have a have a script. Sometimes that really do think they do, especially. I'll tell you right now, not just mm -hmm. SEC refs, but in any game towards the end of the game, there's always there there's always weird fouls being called. It almost makes you think that they're being told through like a, a microphone, like, "Hey, the spreads this or that. We gotta get this here and there." I don't know if it's going on, but there's some weird stuff that goes on. But then again, that could just be the world of betting too. So it's coming back on, guys. It is 42-39. UK up three points. God, that's a good play. No, quickly. Right off the bench, comes in and takes a guy off the dribble and abuses him. Yeah, if you if you have your if you're watching it with us, that highlight they just showed that is an excellent play by Quickly. That shows just his third or fourth weapon he has on the court. No, yep. driving, shooting, free throws, defense, passing, defense. He has everything. Steals, no defense. But <laughs> Quickly's at the line for two shots. This is not a one on one. And his first shot. Is up and good. Up four. 4339. Keep keep just stay ahead of them. That's honestly what you need to do. Keep playing your defense. Just try to stay ahead of them. Get under that two. And then just get a put away with free throws. That's yep. what you have to have in mind. There's a lot of game off there, so stay ahead. Second free throws up and good. <laughs> up five. Third uh, 44 39. Keep playing defense. Nothing easy. No fouls. LSU has the ball at the top of the key over to the right wing area. They okay. dribble towards the elbow free throw line. They take a two, tough two that goes in. That is a tough jump shot, man. Tough jump shot. I mean, that's that's what you want to see. Not, nope. them, shoot, not no. them scoring, but taking that kind of shot. Taking. So it's a three-point game again, 44-41. UK ball, up three. Maxie's got it over to Haggins at the top of the key. We're trying to run Maxie around some screens. Quickly's got it now. Man, Richards getting fouled in there. And we get into Richards, who goes, who tries to go up with a shot, almost oh, gets it stolen. Foul. LSU tips out of bounds. It's our ball. Eight cool. seconds on the shot clock. Richards getting killed in there. Landon Markham quickly is taking these boys to school. Amen. Totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. I mean, I, that is one shot as a team. I love letting teams take as long twos because it's so hard. Oh. And then they foul quickly on the no. floor. Why should we on the shot? Riff, that's impossible. He was shooting. So they call a foul on LSU, That's but they impossible. said it's on the ground. But it should be for three points. It has to be on the shot. Look at this. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, that's a, that if that's a foul, and that's on the shot. That has to be on the shot. So they say it's on the ground, but it's, it's our ball at 20 seconds on the shot clock, so a little time to refresh. Shoot that, Haggins. Haggins has Pull it. Up. Cal's calling out a play right now. Haggins has it. Dribbles it into the free throw line. Almost walks. Kicks out to Massey for a three-point shot that's good. Yeah. Up six, 47-41, 13.50 to Big go in the shot, game. Maxie. Ian and Sebastian, they really are crap. all Nick right now. Crap. we got to use that to our advantage. Do that. Wow. Three, for three, three threes this half right now, guys. Good job by us. We're shooting 100% yeah. three line. Let's see if we can keep that up. Compared to 6% last week. So, guys, 
LSU's ball now down six. They get a good pass to their guy who oh. misses a dunk, and they call a foul. I don't know how this is a foul. He put his arm out. What What is Richard supposed to do? Become invisible? No. I mean, you're, there's going to be contact. This freaking bum is trying to go for a major dunk. If you put his hand out on Richards, this is not a foul. Yeah. Oh, my God. He grabbed his face. He just – it's a foul because Richards' face is there. Oh, my God, man. He just he just went like that. Let me know in the comments, the guys. Foul. You think that's BS with what they just called there. So he just slapped Richards in the face, and that's the foul. He, I guess like, Richards he propelled face himself to, off the ground. His face needs to turn invisible? I guess. Has to turn Their first week, there's no good because he doesn't deserve it. F you. You don't deserve it. I mean, 47, he just slapped uh, Richards. That, 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 the ball doesn't lie in that situation. So we're up six points. So, LSU's back at the line for one more shot. That's a foul. Oh my God. Boulder Vaughn, that was a huge shot by Maxie. That's who you're talking about. Second shot's up and no. good. So it's a uh, five-point game right now, 47-42. Our ball. 13 minutes to go, basically. That, that is that needs to be investigated. <laughs> I'm no, serious. That, that happens that's multiple bad. times. This, this is a foul. That has to be a foul. So see the kicks in the corner for a quickie three. That's good. Yeah. Quickly nails another three. Fit, we're up eight points, 50 to 42. We got to keep scoring and got to keep getting some stops. I need to stop. Yeah, Can we build this up. Can we build this up. LSU has the ball down eight. And they do a charge. Charge. Yes. Yes. So it's our ball. Can't oh, review that crap, LSU. Like that one, Can't buddy. review it. Can't review it. How do you like that one? So we're up eight, guys, with 13.06 to go with the ball. We got to get a freaking shot off here. Yeah. Keep getting shots off. That's all you can do. Oh, don't even – you can't review it. Our ball, guys. Dribbling up the court. Haggins has got it right now. Way outside of the three-point line. Pass it around a couple times to Cena and Maxi. About to get a screen from Richards. And he does do a great screen. Oh! Oh, my. Oh, and they call an illegal screen, so that's a good thing he missed that anyway. That but, could have been a monster dunk. No, that's a good thing he didn't make it though. That would have been frustrating. What a ch I mean, I, oh, and look, I think look it at was. This. Hang like, on. Okay, okay. If you're watching this game right now, do you can you believe that we see that replay? When it could possibly be a bad call for us, we magically see the replay on joke. ESPN. So I mean, I kind of, I kind of saw Kentucky bias is I, uh, exposed. I kind of saw Richards moving around. He's got to know he can't. You got to stay still. We're gonna set a screen. Well, I know. But LSU's ball guys down eight. They're way outside the three-point line right now. We're putting some good pressure on them. Haggins tried to go for a top-10 nominee dunk on that play. But don't you love the convenient replay? Yeah, no kidding. Gotta seriously. love it. LSU has the ball now. Drives it in. No good, but they get the offensive rebound, put it up, and it bounces Gosh, in. Rebounds. Got a rebound, guys. Six-point game, 50-44, to 44, UK up six. Our ball, 12-25 to ball. go in the game. Almost to the under 12, so let's see what we can do here. Go a little spurt again. It's a little spurt. Maxie's got it. Hands it off to quickly. Hands it off to Haggy. The cat's coming downstairs. <laughs> Haggy dribbles to the free throw line, uh, jump shot that goes Whoa. in. Good job, cat. Good job, Katie. 42-48. We're, or 42-44. We're up eight again. 12 minutes to go in the game. We can get a stop. Go hard to the basket. Yep. Else who's got it, dribbles it around, uses a screen, drives hard to the hoop, do a floating oh, shot that goes shot. in. Another tough shot. They're hitting Jeez. tough shots. 52-46. We're up six points and the ball. We're forcing tough shots right now. Nothing you do. About we are that. under the 12, so they're going to be one to call a foul here soon. So let's try to attack the basket. Kentucky's got it straight away yeah, right now. Drive. Give it to Max or Haggins. Haggy act like he's going to drive. Now he's getting right, right back into it again. Kicks it over to Montgomery, who fakes the jump shot. Kicks out to Cena. Back over to Haggy. Haggy fakes it. Goes hard to the hoop. Gets fouled. Yeah, that's a smart, smart play, play Ashton. So really smart. I think that's a. Uh, I don't know if he's going to the free throw line. Either way, it's our ball at the under 12 TV Look timeout, and we're up six points right now. This little stat here, guys, says that we're four for four on threes this half. In the previous, the yeah. previous, what was that? Thirty-two. I couldn't read it. The previous three halves, we were four for thirty-two. Look, look at this stat. If is, I think that's reverse. Hopefully, <laughs> I think you should go reverse. read that. It shouldn't be reverse but, for you guys. Yes, yeah, this second half, we're four for four from the free three line. And in the previous three halves of basketball, we are four for thirty-two. Crazy. So we have plenty enough threes to win this game now. So now we need to keep playing defense, maybe knock down some more, keep getting into quickly, and then keep pounding it or try to get some points down low. Yep. Here's the Aquaman trailer. Right? Yeah, I know. It's going to Jason Momoa, the best commercial from the Super Bowl, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, that definitely was. Uh, yeah. Let's see. 
Boulder Vaughn, big shot. What the – yeah, there's a lot of what the moments tonight and some of those fouls. I just saw that Richards face foul. I know. I, what the heck? I mean, if, if this is a foul on the offense when they're going, you can't do this as an off, offensive guy going to the basket. I think getting – slapping someone in the face better be a foul too. I know. And then you said face fouls do not count. Oh, that's that's true probably. <laughs> No, but I mean, and then three, he, his yep. face didn't even initiate the contact. No. I mean, he went but up to Richards, if anything, that's not slapped foul. him, and he dunked the ball. Yeah. And that's a foul on Richards. I guess Richards needs to avoid the slap. He needs to duck. Yeah. And then, and then block. That's terrible. Mountain Warriors uh, said keep battling Big Blue. Mountain Warriors also said stay hot, UK. Yeah. It's, we're, we're probably not going to hit every shot, but try to hit more no, shots than we miss. We're not going to we're not gonna make every shot, but like Cal says, just don't miss all of them. And yep. even making a lot of threes, keep – Keep take keep making attempts of shots. Don't turn it over. Uh, Gatsby live here. Oh, would you live down in uh, Louisiana? And Ian Sebastian, screw that punk. B number five for LSU. Yeah, I think I know you're talking about. There are a few annoying guys in this team that we're playing against right now. And then your regular gamer, we're cooking. Definitely, you gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going. Cannot let off. You gotta learn from this moment. When you get up on a team like this, and we're only up six, you just gotta keep playing. And then uh, Landon Markham says there's 11 combined fouls in the second half. I agree. Once again, usually in the first half, if the refs are good with the whistle, they think they have to tighten it up and do something to like make a name for themselves. It's just how annoying they are sometimes. And then Swifty Turtle says, "Sup guys, go Cats." What's going on? And don't worry, I, I have the same uh, I have the same autocorrect on our phones too. It always changes the cars. I don't know why. And then, oh, it's Landon. Let us know what's going on in that game. I, we saw a couple highlights uh, so far. I think during halftime. Let, let us know what's going on in that Baylor game if you can. Yeah, if you want. And also, yeah, Dayton. I, I was going to say there looks like they're up four with three forty nine to go in the game. What? What was that? Kind of bounce. Cute. That's not balancing. They're holding it. Oh. So we, we, we were at the line for two, but Haggy misses the first free throw, but he's still at the free throw line for another free throw. That he's cannot happen. He's, been, he's, he's a freaking one for two king. 41-38. Second shot's up and good. So we're up seven right now, 53-46. Got it. That's our first free throw miss, so we can't actually we can't yeah. miss any, but. We've been really good from the yeah. free throw line, but mostly, it's mostly just quickly. Yeah. LSU's ball down seven. Yeah, no, Cook has only got it. He's locked down most of the time. Make him earn it. Make LSU earn has it. the ball now. They drive it in. They throw it to the corner. Baseline now back to the top of the key for a three-point shot that goes no good. And, oh, gosh, darn it. We got the rebound that they call a chicken call on someone again. That better not be on. My God. That's the second time, guys, that they've called, or maybe that third time that they've called a like holding foul on rebounds, and that's that's a one and one. So they're going to line for one and one. Once again, you gotta love these refs. I mean, we get a rebound, a foul stop. away from the play, change the momentum, give them points. Give them points. Thanks, refs. Thanks. <sighs> change the momentum, make it all about you. Just give them the points. So, guys, uh, it's a seven-point game. UK up seven, but LSU's at the line for one and one. Don't deserve them. This is a one and one. The ball doesn't lie. He makes it. He deserves it. Well, we we need to see it. He doesn't deserve it. So, LSU's at the line. Number 14's about to shoot a first shot here, and it is good. We're up six. 53-47. <clears throat> You got all these away from the ball fouls. These refs just trying to keep LSU in the game. Yep. They get a home court advantage. Got to keep we it a close game. Video. LSU's second shot of a one on one is up and no good. And they didn't want to rebound it. Still up six. Yeah, they weren't even trying. They weren't trying Showing to. Showing LSU's it. old coach right now. And it's our ball up six. <clears throat> Haggy's got it. Uses the screen for Montgomery. It goes hard to the hoop. Kicks it to the corner to Sestina for an open three point shot that goes yes! in. Yes. I wanted so to see Sestina with another again. three, uh, well, first three of the game for him. And we're up nine points right now, 56-47 with 10, 10 38 to go in the game. LSU ball. <clears throat> I say go back to Down the nine. All right, go right to him. Go to anyone that's open. Well, yeah. LSU throws to the corner for a three-point shot that line. goes in. Foot is on the line. Right? They, call, they call it a two, but it's they're, they're going to review it. 
So we're, uh, right now the lead is – it should be – either way. We're up six right now. Call it the 56, two. 50, but they're going to review that, so it could be a two. <clears throat> Wait, 60, 56, Yeah, they, they, they rolled it a three, but they'll, they'll go – they'll review it. You see what he did this. Well, if they did two and review, they said it should this, count though. as two first. I know. It's just – well, just not even think about it. Also, you just found us uh, under the basket trying to post up Montgomery. Yes, so it's not a one on one yet. They just took a point away for LSU, so we're we're back up seven right now. See, what I don't <clears> understand <throat> though is if he's had, he's holding up two and goes like that, shouldn't it be two? That's and a tough shot. That's a tough shot either way. El or Kentucky ball now up seven, fifty six, forty nine. Patty's got it. Cal's S calling out a play right now. This is a set Sestina, play. Sestina quickly, Maxi Raggins. Anyone can shoot out there right now. In my yep. opinion. Patty uses the screen for Montgomery for a little bit. Hit goes Sestina. back to the basket hard. Good pass to Montgomery. who faced it. Goes into the left hand hook shot that air balls. But Cecilia saves it. Oh it's quickly God. for a three-point shot that goes in. Oh my what a God. shot. But we're going to see if he got it off. We don't know if he got it off or not. Counting. Let's see what happened. They're going to review it here, guys. Can't review right it. now we're up seven points, but we're going to see if we got the shot off too. I don't know. God dang it. They can't review it, though. Yeah, they can. Why? No, you review shots like that. Wait, but it's not under two. No, but it's not. It's, it's a shot clock violation. So we don't get the three-point shot, even though it went in. A great, great freaking hustle play by Sistine. And it, it's not a shot, guys. We know it didn't go in. We know it didn't get off in time. God dang it. That sucks. So it's gonna. we're still up seven, guys. LSU ball. Yeah, that was a crazy play, Ian. Got to, got to appreciate the hustle from our cats right now. 9.46 to go in the game, though. <clears throat> LSU ball. We're up seven. Just got to keep playing basketball. Keep playing basketball. Your, your regular gamer, Landon, thanks for the thanks for those updates. I'll be checking those in a second. So it's LSU ball now. That sucks. They're throwing, they're throwing it around. They're trying to get their best player open. Paggy's on him. Pretty good right now. 15 seconds on the shot clock. They kick it to number five, who drives the basket, goes into a hook shot that goes up and no good, but LSU grabs it, puts it up, and no good. And they tip it around. Rebound. They get another rebound, put it up, and no good. Nice. And Cecilia finally grabs it. Our ball, up seven. Maxie's got it, dribbles up the front court, goes hard to the basket, puts up and in. And one, but they don't call a foul. So we're up nine points again, 58-49. We're up nine points, nine minutes to go in the game. 58-49, to LSU ball. Yeah. LSU's got it. They try to post up Richards. They go in, and they call a charge. Oh, my what God. What a huge play. So it's our ball. That's, that's Richards' second charge he's taken. We've got the momentum right now. Got to cash in here. Cash in here. What a good take by Maxie. Uh, hey, they don't call it there. They better not call it on us. Yeah. Good play by Maxie. Okay, guys. We're up nine points with the ball with exactly nine minutes to go in the game. Let's get to this under eight timeout over ten, or at least keeping a lead like this kind of. Yeah. Keep, keep getting on the board. And honestly, yep. I mean, go ahead, just any sustainer or quickly, quickly yeah, for a three. I mean, if we're not missing, just keep going. So let's keep Brooks's trend going. Get some kind of put back here, too, if we miss a shot. Yeah. Maxie's got it straight away. We hand it off to Haggy. Sestina's not the game anymore. Haggy yeah. passes over to Quickly. Quickly back to Maxie. 12 seconds in the shot clock. Don't turn it over. Maxie's dribbling it around. Under 10 to go on the shot clock. We got to get going on something here. <clears throat> Maxie's got it. Drives through the hoop, flips it up. And no good, but tipped around. But LSU, LSU claims it. So LSU ball going the other way. Oh, a tough pass to Quickly with a good good hands, and he steals it. Quickly has it. Passes it to Haggy, who pushes it hard up the court right now. Pushing it hard, pushing it hard. Kicks it to the corner that gets stolen by LSU. But Maxi hustles, but LSU gets it. We're at 8-12 to go in the game. It's, hey, it's going crazy both ways. Right now, Kentucky has three less turnovers. Than oh, God. It tipped around again. Ball. Good hands by Haggy. Hands LSU there, ball with eight minutes to go in the game. Kentucky up nine. We're making it hectic. Yep, hectic game right now. LSU ball. We're under the eight. Under the eight. Let's get a stop and a score. LSU fakes a three, Box drives out. it in, goes hard to the hoop and puts it in. It's a seven point game. 58-51. UK up seven with seven forty five to go in the game. It's our ball. Just get shots off. I mean, that's all we can ask. <clears throat> I think we're gonna call timeouts. It's getting pretty crazy. Good timeout. Pretty good timeout. Seven point game. Fifty eight. 51, Kentucky's up with 7.40 to go. Yep. That was a very hectic run there. Hectic little stretch. Perfect from the three line. When I say that, I mean that. We've made every three this half, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Even the one that didn't count we made. But I'd say definitely, I mean, if we're not missing them, why stop? I mean, if shooting. it ain't broke, keep using it. So keep shooting. So quickly, Sestina aren't missing. Sestina's not even in the game anymore. 
But let's have Sestina quickly or Hankins or Maxi just keep shooting because they're not missing. Just let's see, going. guys. Let's let's catch up with what you guys were saying. So, uh, looked like Dave was 41 48. And then Penn State lost to Illinois. I did see that one. Well, at least I saw the score. I didn't watch the game, but I did see that score on the bottom of the screen. Mountain Warriors, come on, UK. Definitely, you got to pull us out. Got to pull it out. Hopefully, this hopefully this, hopefully this timeout stretched into the TV timeout so we can just have one more timeout the rest of the game. And then uh, <clears throat> what's the score of the Baylor game? Let's see. Someone might have let us know in the comments here. Landon Markham, BS foul. Mountain Warriors, what a BS foul call. There's been a few BS foul calls so far. <clears throat> Dayton was up 58-54. And they, they did not deserve free throws on one of those plays, and they, they missed a free throw, so that was good. Boulder Vaughn, high fives. Yeah, right back to you. Those are some high-fiving moments right now in this game. <clears throat> We're checking the Baylor game right now. It looks like Baylor is – It's a thing you go away. winning by 12. Okay, but yeah, seven minutes ago, it looks like they're going to have that one wrapped up. Uh, Cena, yep, Martin Warriors, big time three for him. <clears throat> Yeah, I agree, guys. That was we didn't definitely get it off. And then Boulder, Boulder Vaughn drive game is strong night. I know the first half was a little bit rough with that. But we definitely turned it on a little bit in the second half. Uh, Baylor's yeah, Baylor's got a pretty handle right now, guys. They're up fifty four forty two with under seven to go. So looks like they got that locked down. And then Mountain Warriors keep fighting, Big Blue. Got to keep fighting. Got to keep fighting. And then looks like Dayton's still in a close game, 61-57. How much time is left in that game, your, your regular gamer? It's got to be less than a minute, right? Mountain Warriors, uh, I, my phone's not near me, but I'll check that in a second. If anyone knows what the line is, go ahead and feel free to text it in there. Is it live? And it's not live. God. Oh, Jay. Oh, me a river, Billings. Jay, you bum. Good old they're, 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 Have you ever seen this? They're going back like two plays ago to talk about a little – and you know how much pushing and shoving's going on? Uh, you, know, you could point out anyone on those plays and if, say that they fouled. Yeah, if you wanted to, I'd be all down to do the uh, announcer ESPN bias against Kentucky because every weird play we want to see, yeah. we don't see. Everyone we don't need to see, and it's on us, we see. Yep. It's unbelievable. 35 seconds. That's that's a crazy game. I wish I could turn that on, but this game's got to take forever right now. Yeah. So it's our ball right now. 17 seconds on the shot clock, uh, 7.30 to go. We're up seven points. Get a good shot off. 58-51. Haggy's got it straight away. We're running Max off some screens. We get him off the screen. He drives to the elbow, in, into the basket, and he turns it over. And they turn it over. Oh, they throw up the court, but they oh, push Haggy. Oh, what a – They say it's off Ashton, even though they, they literally shoved him as they were going. And now Haggy's freaking limping, so I don't know what's going on. pushed him down. And how's no, that that, that wasn't a TV timeout, so now, great. How's that off us? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is everyone injured? Jeez, I, don't, I don't know what happened to Haggins, guys. I think he's just either banged his knee or something. They had to freaking help him off the freaking court. I, hopefully, he, got, he stood up on his own. I think he's just got a little bruise. He, hopefully, he's fine. He literally just pushed Haggins to the ground. God, these refs do not Why did that not count as a TV timeout? I don't understand that, how that works. Do you know these remotes work? Gosh, darn it. I mean, he pushed Haggy and limped off earlier in the game and he came back. Haggy just limped off there. Let's hope he comes back. God dang it. He stood up on his own. Did you not see that? Yeah. He, How is he? He, he's, he can't be that badly injured. Because he so we're up just, seven guys and it's LSU's ball. This is the under under eight timeout now. I thought the last one that we called would stretch into that, but apparently it didn't. God, I hate going on timeouts like that with freaking someone looking like they got freaking hurt. We'll let you. Yeah, we'll let you guys know as soon as uh, we, this game comes back on. Of what's going on with Howie? Hopefully when we come back, he'll be either sitting on the bench or, like, ready to come back in a second. We're going to need him to come back. We want to win this game a little bit. Definitely a big reason. Yeah, they, they did push us, man. You're right. I know. I don't know how that's not a foul. Because, I mean, 
they literally shoved him to the ground. That's how the ball bounced off his back. Like, I'm not arguing the ball probably did bounce off Patty's back, but they pushed him. That's why he fell. Oh, they literally pushed him down. How are you not calling that foul? It's right in front of the fucking ref's face. What are you doing over there? This light is – if you wonder why the light's turning out, it's just this light is, like, ringing, and it's really annoying me. So we're back here, guys. LSU fans are acting all excited right now. Let's see. Loser. We'll let you know as soon as we see right you guys. We'll let you know as soon as we see him. It's losing right now. I think you guys are losing now. So, you know, your first letter. Oh my God. He pushed him down. No foul call. It should have been a foul. I was shooting these freaking saw rates. What a bum. Oh, wow. Haggy's back in the game, even though he's still. I think they're just cramping. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a crazy game. Wow. So, 14. Haggy's still in the game, guys. He's Thank so, you, Land. You're right. He's so excited to push him down. Yeah, I pushed him down. Wow. That's a great So, it is. <clears throat> what? You should have handled this during the timeout. People, take him out. Take him out. Why do we get that this whole moment for him? Okay, guys. Uh, Scott Ramirez just had blood on his jersey, so they had to get some kind of liquid onto it. Well, they didn't. They didn't get rid of it. Yeah, Ian, I agree. I, I don't know why he even checked back in. I mean, what was that all about? Yeah, why would he have gone back in? So, so how he's how he does check out, but he's still on his own. LSU shoots a corner three point shot that goes up and no good, and quickly rebounds it. Seven ten to go in the game. I'm on the score. So now they are going to walk how you back. God, oh, dang it, man! So many injuries. So quickly passes over to Maxi. Maxi's got it. That's a three point line right now. Who dribbles it around, uses a screen from Richards, kicks it to Cecina, who fakes the three, back to Maxi. Like 12 seconds on the shot clock. And a foul away from the ball, and we'll be going to the line for one and one. Richards is going to the line for a one and one. This is the seventh or eighth foul. It is the eighth foul in LSU. Come on, Richards. Once again, Jay Bell is taking the side of LSU. I mean, you've kind of argued for it before, but yeah, he's, he's usually against us. So Richards, guys, is hey, – Richards was going to shoot the one-on-one, but he's passed it back to the ref. Because they're trying to get in his head and mess up Richards. F you, refs. I think it was the freaking LSU oh, idiots. So, guys, Richards has the ball, guys. About to shoot a one-on-one. Come on, man. His first shot is up and good. That's a big shot. 59-51. We're up eight. That's a big free throw. Got to get – got to get – I want to see how you walk back in this gym. He, he's, he's walking on his own, so it can't be that severe. I mean, he's walking Hopefully. around. He checked in. So, yeah, the fact he's jogging yeah. off, basically jogging. Yeah, he was about to come back in the game. Yeah. Gives me good. Let's just try to win this game without him. Yep. I don't know. It's going to be tough. tough. Richard's second shot is up and no good. It's tipped around, yeah. but LSU claims it. So I not get it, but bounces Richard's goes one of two at the line, but at least he hit the first one of the one and one to have, this, have a chance to shoot that second free throw. So we're up eight points, 59-51, LSU ball. Down eight. Get up. <clears throat> They're trying to post up Sestina. They get into get a up. hook shot. They go up strong. No good. Tipped around. LSU grabs it. Put it up, and we fouled him. We got to rebound that first that rebound. first miss. We're getting the second chance points. So LSU's going to line for two shots right now. 6.34 to go in the game. We haven't gotten any. No. Well, this is defensive rebounds for us. We need to, we need to really limit <clears throat> the second the chance one. points. Yeah. For them. We stopped him the first time. So LSU's at the line, guys, for two shots. It's the freshman I was talking about. His first shot's up and no good. Nice. <clears throat> Still up eight Jeez. points right now, guys. 6.34 to go in the game. Yeah. Not really. Just don't focus on scoring. Focus on getting shots up and just not turning it over. That's all you can no. do. Keep forcing hard shots and rebound. Stop allowing the second chance points. Like his second shot is up and good. So the game is back to seven points, 59-52. LSU's going to put on a little uh, full-court pressure. They throw it in Sestina over to Quickly, who dribbles into front court, who Jimmy dribbles Evan out of a Christmas. tough position, but then it's still our ball. Over to Maxi, we're going to reset and drop a play. Get a shot 20 seconds in the shot clock. Maxi dribbles Sestina. to the left side of the court, get it over to Sestina. Quickly. We try to get into Richards in the post. When we do, he gets fouled. He's going back to the line. And what? No, he's uh, – we didn't call you on this one shot. I really wanted to – I'd like to see this is, And by the way, guys, this, this is the last one-on-one one, uh, 
of the game because this is the ninth foul and I'll shoot. The rest will be two shots no matter what. Well, I'm Richards. Uh, what do you mean he got hurt and intentionally hurt? Well, play, he got pushed down as he was going for a loose ball down the court. And I, we really don't know what it is. It's, I think it's hopefully cramping or maybe just banged his knee on the ground. Because he was, he, he was walking around. He wasn't like – he didn't break it in, hopefully. I don't think he did. 59-52 Kentucky with Richards to the line for one and one. And his first shot is up and good. Rattles in, hits the rim 20 times and goes in. Good, good roll for us. We're a backup eight, 60 to 52. 616 to go in the game. Richard's shots are rattling in today. His jump shot wasn't going down. Just and that's the last one I'm wanting to worry about. His yeah, second shot is up and good. Nice. Good job, Nick. So we're up nine points right now. 61-52. LSU ball down nine. Heat up. LSU's dribbling or passing around right now. Nothing easy. Yeah, make them earn everything they take. Everything they take. Make it tough shots. Tough shots. They pass around. Just travel. Hand it off. Dribble around the outside right now. Good defense in the cast. LSU takes a wing three that goes up and no good. And good rebound by Maxi. Great rebound by Maxi. I just I saw know, like, I, the top of his I head. I want to see Haggins come back with this gem. Maxi's got it dribbling around the front court right now. He drives hard to the basket. Kicks to the corner for Cena for an open three-point shot that rims oh in. Oh, my God. Rims in. So we're up four, uh, 12 points oh right now. 64-52 with 5.37 to go in the game. Keep going to Cena. Keep going to him. Keep happens. going to him. LSU takes a tough wing three that goes up and no good, and we rebound it. Quickly has it. Hold the ball. Yep. Draw it Run out. some clock. So it's our ball, guys, up 12 points with 5.25 to go in the game. Max is dribbling it around. Gets in the front court. We barely got it over from, from the midline. Jay Billis is all just, uh, depressed. So yeah. It's making more depressed. Back to Sustina for an open three-point shot that goes in. Oh, my God. Sustina is on mother effing fire right Keep now. Keep going back 67-52, and LSU is called timeout. Oh, my. We are right now, 7 for 7. Sestina's effing on fire right now. Oh, my God. It's 5.13 to go in the game, and we're up, what is this, 15? And, L and LSU's coach is chewing out a guy right now. LSU's coach is losing it. Wow. I mean, I want to see that again. Jeez. Oh, my God. Sestina is flipping nail him. Wow, this shot rims in. That started it. <laughs> and then this this is what he's got to do, be a flipping aggressive. Oh this, this is what he did against Ohio State. Why don't – even in practice, like, obviously he's not going to make all of them. But his shot is always on. It's always a good shot. What even a if it great doesn't go shot. in. We really Where is Ash and Haggins? Can he come back wow. in this court? So, Hopefully he's fine. Are you seeing this? Seven for wow. seven. Wow. Stucky is seven for seven on threes right now this half. We were due for Older one of these Vaughn, games. Amen. That is, they're on fire. We were due for one of these games. But You're a regular gamer. Thank you for the score updates. Really appreciate that. We're going to need this effort from everyone when we do March Madness stuff. This is the time for Sestina to show up this time of the year. Yes. Continue it into March. Now, can we, we need. can we – our goal should be to keep this above 10 before the under four timeout. Yeah. Just keep making these hard – keep making them yep. take hard shots and keep taking so shots ourselves. it is five, right? So, yeah. So, right now we're at 15 points, guys. 67-52 LSU ball with five minutes to go in the game. Just grind it out. No fouls. No fouls. No fouls. LSU is trying to get some something, something going here. Good pass to the baseline right now. They get into a hook shot that goes up and no good, but they get the rebound. Guys, we should have rebounded that. They throw it, rebound. they throw it around. LSU's got it, driving it in. They go strong and they call foul on Richards. Guys, he did just push rebound. him. He did push him. He did push him. It's a one and one. Okay. One and one for LSU. Once again, a second chance point. Just rebound the ball. Get there. It's just that's just being lazy. Yeah. So it's guys, it's LSU's at the line for a one and one. This is the last one and one for them too. So you last one and one of the game. Uh, Four fifty to go in the game. We're at fifteen points, <clears throat> and LSU they're blowing the whistle right now. I don't know if someone's hurt or we're zoomed down on someone's face. We don't know what's going on. So Cena's checking out. Why in the world is he checking out? Okay, guys. Why did so, you take him out? Well, it's about to be another four. I don't know how many fouls he has. How would you we're, take we're him gonna out? Need him. We're going to need him to come back in. He, the first shot's up for the one on one and goes in. So it's a 14 point game now. So wow. both, both teams are in double bonus. That's so. a big game. Goodness. Baylor, Kansas. Yeah. Kansas plays Baylor, guys, uh, Saturday at noon. That's a noon game? No, I don't. Those big 12 games usually do that. The second shot is up and good, so it's 67-54. We're up 13 points, and LSU's put on some full-court pressure like we should expect. Brooks gets into Montgomery, who throws a good pass to Maxie in the middle of the court. Maxie dribbles slow it up. up. Yeah, slow it up. We pull it out. We're going to reset up 13 points with the ball with 440 to go in the game. Quickly's got it. Passes to Brooks. 
Brooks dribbles it, passes to Maxi. Take a shot off. With 15 seconds on the shot clock. Maxi's got it, dribbling it around. Passes it quickly to the top of the queue, fakes a three. Drives in, floats it up, and in. Good shot. We're back up uh, 15 right now. 69-54 with 4.20 to go in the game. LSU ball. LSU dribbles into front court. Pass it to the wing for a three-point shot that goes up and in. 12-point game. 69-57, we're up 12. We pass it to Max, who dribbles up the court. Wow. Yeah, pull it out, pull it out. Oh, that crap. Four minutes to go in the game, and we're up 12 points with the ball. Exactly four minutes to go right now. We hand it off to Quickly. Yeah, let's run some clock, whatever you do. Run some clock and some shots off. Brooks hands it off to Maxi. 13 seconds in the shot clock. Maxi's got it straight, uh, the left wing area. Throws a lob to Richards for oh. a dunk. Oh, shoot. He just stepped on the ball. Well, Richard He's Hill. good. I think he just landed on the ball. He just, I, I think he just got a little scared. He landed right in the ball. What what a bad luck How that, that was. Son of a – he's good. He just landed right in the ball. Unbelievable. I don't want to see it. No, he's fine. He walked off. Are you kidding me? Worse. What are the chances of that? Richard's with a good uh, alley-oop dunk and then landed right in the ball. Shut up. I mean, shut up. That would be awful. Screw you. You doing nothing, announcer. So I assume, guys, that's the TV timeout. So we're back. So we were up 12, and now we're up 14. And I'll use ball with like 3:47 to go. If we can hey. just, I mean, we're not gonna have a freaking team by March Madness the way this is going. The way, the way, I know that. Hopefully, Hagen should be fine. Hopefully, Richard's is fine. He's gonna feel that tomorrow, which get better for Saturday. Yeah, the the way, right when he went down, the way he was sitting on the bench makes me feel good. Yeah, especially the way he was. I mean, the and one, the, the fact one, that he walked yeah. off, he should be fine. He's really making me. He's fine. The one in the exhibition game was worse. This one, he was able, actually able to walk. I mean, you saw him even go. He was just a scare. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's scary, that's that's scary whenever that happens. I think it's just more of a scare for him. Especially for a bigger guy like that. I mean, it's bad for anyone, but he has lengthy, long legs. Uh, Baylor winning 61-51. Now oh, back to 10-point game. Mountain Warriors says finish. And balling, baby. Yeah, we really are balling. We just got to just close this baby out. Got to close it out. Injuries. You want to be on camera? Richards, I think, was just a scare. How he's the one. And, what, did he bang knee on the ground or something? Yeah, I think he'll get that figured out. He's still out, isn't he? We saw how he – you see he checked in. But then he came out. Why did he check in? And he was lumping. He was just trying to play. But the Richards probably has that. He dunks it and steps on the open ball. Terrible. That play, though, they pushed Haggy on that play. You know that? Yeah, no. What a freaking! That's why you hang on the rim. Good balling, man. That street, that Cena is freaking absolutely lighting up out there. Yeah, he was feeling a lot of why are we taking him out? Because we're hoping we're going to need him to come back in here for the. Yeah, they're going to call him. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna make that uh, you gotta shot. love that. Cal says we weren't making shots in the second half. We even missed a three. Seven or seven. <laughs> we were duper. How you came back in? We were due for one of these games. So, guys, there's 3:47 to go in the game. We're up uh, 14 points right now. 71-57, and uh, I believe it is LSU's ball. Richards is about to check back in, so Richards there is good. There we go. That makes you, that's great to see that. Still haggy, but I think they're probably just working on him back in the, in the locker room. They drive in hard to the basket and put it in. Too easy. Back to a 12-point game. Still up double digits. 335 to go in the game. Max is dribbling up the court. Get over that line. They're going to try to trap him. They don't. Max has got it. 20 seconds on the shot clock. They reach, reach in. No foul. Maxie's got it, resets over to Montgomery, gets it back to Maxie. Yeah, Good know. screen by Sestina, back to Sestina for a three. Shoot he fakes that. it, drives it in, kicks it out to Maxie, who faces up, shoots a three-point shot that bricks up no good, and they get the rebound. LSU ball with 3.10 to go. Sestina got fouled. LSU drives hard to the hoop with a block nice. by Montgomery. Great block by Montgomery. I've been lucky sitting in the locker room. Watching. Seeing if he even needs to come back. Yeah, that's true. 
Good play by Montgomery to trail the play. Great play That's by Montgomery. Great That's play hustling Montgomery. and playing hard basketball. So there's uh, it's LSU's ball, guys. We have nine blocks tonight. Take nine blocks to their three. I haven't looked at the stat book yet, but I think we're leading them in a lot of stats right now. Just off the just watching this game. So we're up 12 points, guys. LSU's ball with 306 to go. You drain the clock. Get a stop here. The rest of the monitor looking at something. Yeah, it's their ball. I don't know what you're talking you about. You can't review that. Three or six. And they were still not below two. They get it into their best player. Faces up. Drives in hard on quickly. Puts it up and in. Easy. Ten-point game right now. Three minutes to go. Brooks has it. Passes over to Maxi. Maxi faces up. Dribbles. Almost gets it stolen from. We get it. Good oh, dribbling good, by Maxi. Passes to Brooks, who about travels but doesn't. Gosh. So it's 2.45 to go in the game. Maxie's got the ball. Let's try to get a point. Try to get a bucket here, guys. Try to get a bucket. Let's go inside. <clears throat> Maxie's now quickly's got it straight away. Quickly faces up. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Quickly has it. Runs some clock. Runs some clock. Drives it in. Off the backboard and in. Nice. Back up 12. 2.27 to go in the game. LSU ball. Kentucky up 12. LSU's Make got it. it. They get an open three-point shot from the wing that goes in. Yeah. Dang God. Nine point game, guys. Two eighteen to go in the game. Yeah, let's go down nine. LSU is a hard team to put away. That's how they've been all year. Down nine at home. Yeah, let's celebrate about that one. And LSU just called their Good. second to last time out, so they only have one time out left. We have two. That's something to get excited about, isn't it? You you cut the lead to nine at home. I mean, this is why they have to get excited. This is why if you're an LSU fan, you got to be thinking like, we're going to lose early in the tournament because, I mean, how many times have they had close games, no matter if they win or lose? You know. Honestly, at this point, just have quickly drive. I mean, we haven't missed a yeah. three this time. Run so clock, this break break the press, run clock, and then just try to get some good points. And we're a double bonus, so we get foul. We have two yeah. shots. Free yeah, throw so line. that's where we can just win it right now. We can win it from the free throw line. Win it from the free throw line and defense. Haggins is coming back to the court right now. No reason to get him injured here, I mean. I mean, if we absolutely need him. Right now, we can win this if we have out there. God dang. It's getting brit. Oh, ice on his knees. He just probably hit his knee. There's a lot of time to – he has four or five days. A few days to, to warm up. Brooks gets it into Maxi right in the corner where you don't want to go. We get into Cecina. Dribble it. Cecina passes over to Maxi. Maxi dribbles it, dribbles it, dribbles it, passes to Cecina. We get over the court. Cecina just hold the ball over to Maxi. 205 to go in the game. We're up nine with the ball. Now she's got it way outside the three-point line right now. About to get a screen from Richards. Does get a screen. Uses it. Drives it in. Does a little Euro step. Flips it up. And in. Nice. Good play by Flippin' Maxi. We're back up 11. Yeah. 75-64. Minute 50 to go in the game. LSU's got it. Let's yeah, get yeah. one stop. One stop. LSU drives hard to the hoop. And they call foul. A foul? Minute, from what? Minute 47 to go in the game, guys. We're up 11 points. A foul on What? Was he even out of bounds when he threw that ball, too? I'd like to see these replays. That was a huge play on Maxie right there. So LSU's at the line, guys, for two two shots. 82% free throw shooter. First shot is up and no good. No. We're, we're up 11 points right now. LSU's about to take one more free throw. Kentucky up 11. Double digits, baby. God, it sure is weird to do even have a chance to win this game, we yeah. would have had to have made some threes. Second shot's up and good, so it's a 10 point Tom. game. Brooks was taking it in. Call time out if you have to. We get in Sestina. Sestina throws it to the middle and it gets stolen. LSU ball. They throw it to a layup guy. It gets blocked by oh. Sestina, but they call a foul. Why is that automatically a foul? Man, that was a good block, and they call a foul on Nate. There's a minute 41 to go in the game. LSU's going to line for two free throws. Why is that automatically a foul? Kentucky up 10 points. Oh, wow. We might actually see the replay we want to see. Come on, Nate. You're better than that. Man, that was that's a block. That, that's, that's, that was all ball. He didn't that's touch the ball at all. Did anybody get the line yet? No, no one's given it yet. I, I, I know it. I checked my phone. LSU makes, the, LSU makes the first free throw. It's a nine-point game. 75-66. About to shoot a second free throw. This pathetic excuse of a ref just called a foul when it's all ball. Come on. So LSU shooting the second free throw and it's up and good. See the Let's foul. break the flipping press. 
Why don't you see the foul before you call it? Brooks That's has it. Uh, because we don't want him to catch it. Brooks, they get into Cena again, who throws it away, and we turn it over again. Brooks, run after it. Dang it. What kind of pathetic jog is that to the ball? Why is Brooks not diving a bounce for that ball? We don't have a freaking press break play. Out of all the times we practice, we don't have one play to break the press. So it's LSU's ball, guys. 60 or 75 67. We're up eight points. We take both Sestina and Brooks out of the game. LSU ball, minute 35 to go. Kentucky up eight. LSU's got it straight away. They take a they fake a three, drive in, kick it out for a wing three by number 14. It goes in. It's a five point game. Kentucky up five with a minute 23 to go. Juzang's trying, Juzang's trying to get it in right now. Call timeout. We get it in it quickly. It faces up. Passes it to the middle to Montgomery. Good job by it quickly. We hand it off to Juzang, who is dribbling it around, dribbling it around back to Maxi. We're up five with a minute to go. Get a basket. 15 seconds in the shot clock. We kick it over to Juzang. Juzang dribbles between his, leg, uh, his legs. Back to quickly, back to Maxi. 56 seconds to go in the game. Back to quickly. 53 seconds to go in the game. Quickly has it. Four seconds of the shot clock. We go kick past the Richards for a layup. It's a foul. Up seven with 49.3 to go. 48 seconds. 47. LSU's guy dribbling up the Get court. Stop here. They drive hard to the hoop and a block by Maxi, and it's off us. So it's LSU ball with 42.9 to go in the game. Was Kentucky up at, seven. Up three it, possessions. Is it out of bounds yet? That's a fucking battle. Max, they're quickly, quickly really coming through here in the end. That's a battle. LSU's ball inbounding into their own basket. No fouls, no fouls. They, oh, Richards what? almost gets a steal, and they call a foul on Richards. Why is that a foul? Finish it, guys. We'll try. No, oh, guys, Ian, it is pretty close right now. Big, big play by Quickly and Richards, though. Big play. Did you do? Three play where they pushed our player down. He's fine. He's just in his hip. We'll be fine. Just rest up. So, Haggy should be fine, guys. We're just icing him up. Probably realizing he's probably just resting for tonight. The rest of this yeah. game. No reason to put him in right now. <clears throat> Ice it up. we got a few days to rest before Saturday night. Saturday's a late game, too, basically. So, a lot of time to rest. Yeah, LSU's at the line. 79% free throw shooter of the line for two shots. First yeah, shot's up sense. and good. 77 71. It's a six point game. 41.4 seconds to go. Oh, she's about to take a second free throw. These games, they can never end. And we can make freaking 20 free threes and still a close game. Nope. Uh, God dang. Oh, she's second Jesus. free throw is up and good. It's a five point game, guys. 41.4 seconds to go. They're going to have to foul once we get it in. I mean, they can only press them for so long. Let's get it to quickly. Yep, get it to quickly. Or Maxi. Oh, yeah. We're inbounding. Juzang's uh, here to inbound. Passes to Montgomery. Montgomery passes to the middle to Maxi. Good pass. We're dribbling it around. They're not going to foul, it looks like. Maxi's got it, and they do foul. 34.7 seconds to go. We have two shots. Well, Maxi. Hit them both. Just kill him at the free throw line. Yep. Maxi's at the line for two shots. It's a double bonus. I, I had the faint, the faint uh, imagination that we might be able to relax for this end of this game, but then mm. – Reality set. Yeah, there's never any relaxation. So, you wait, you actually think you're going to relax for a game? Come on. Uh, Maxi's at the line, guys, for two shots. The first shot is up and good. Horrible view, but it goes in. I know. We're up six what points right now with 34.7 seconds to go. At the line for one more shot. Maxi's at the line. Okay, think about it. As long as they take 10 seconds off each time they dribble down, if they miss this – we make yeah. this, they miss a shot, we get it back. You can really put it away, but either way, they're going to take a lot of time off. Maxi's second shot is no good, and don't foul. So we're up six points, guys. LSU's got it. They're driving hard to the hoop. They put it up and no good, and we – it's out of bounds. They say it's off us, but we're going to review this. 20.3 seconds to go in the game. 26.3 seconds to go in the game. Review it? We have to review this, guys. We don't know who it's off. I mean, that, not really that was not obvious. That was not obvious to anyone at home watching this. I mean, this is not <laughs> obvious to anyone at home. So let's at least take a look at this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. They're not going to let him look at it. You better be right, pal. We're you not, better be right. We're not even arguing, so. 
We don't even see him. Well, okay. Well, I thought, the, I thought our bench did. But uh, either way, it's LSU's ball, guys. 26 seconds to go. They, they get it in. LSU drives hard to the hoop. Goes up no good. And it's tipped around. LSU grabs it. They go up and put it in. Get the ball. It's a four-point game. My God. 18.9 seconds to go. Let's just relax. 18.9 seconds to go. We're, we're up four points. What are we doing? 18.9 seconds to go in the game. It's our ball. Up four. We freaking tipped away from our own god dang player. So it's guys, it's a four point game, guys. 78 74. It's our ball. Mountain Warriors, they apparently the ref said, don't review it. He knows it's right. That's what that's what I read his lips say. He just said, we're not looking at it. We, we know it's right. I mean, you got to love that. When these officials make, miss every other call most of the time, and then we're not even going to take a look at it when it's late in the game like this in a close game. How do you not look at a, a ball that gets tipped out of bounds like that? How do they've you doubled, not look they've at doubled it? Our double, they've doubled our second chance points. I mean, they had to have. After points this game have been off second chance points. Oh, yeah. We shoot 100% from the three line. We still have this kind of game. Shame. Yeah, Landon, we really are missing Hattie right now. But you, you said it was a, a thigh contusion. Yeah, I think it's just – he probably bruised his thigh. I mean, it's they, they, they're realizing this is not a championship game tonight. There's no reason to get it to be more injured. Just take all the time you can to rest him up because we will need him Saturday night if we're going to pull out the win against Florida. But let's finish this game first. Get it to quickly. Put this away. And let's not fight over the ball with our own team, please. Five-star, 2.0, go Big Blue. Oh, the Charlie horse, it sounds like. That's what I just heard the announcer say. Can't trust anything they say, though. We still have two timeouts if we need to use it. We get into Richards. Good job. Richards throws it to Quickly. Quickly has it. 15 seconds, 14 seconds. They're not going to foul. They're still not fouling. Still not fouling. Quickly has it. Still not fouling. And they finally foul with 11.1 seconds. That was done by LSU. 11, what did they just do? I don't know. He's not happy about it. 11.1 seconds to go, guys. Quickly, quickly is at the line for two shots. And we're up four points. What did they just do? They just let half the clock go off. <laughs> they just let half the clock go off, no. guys. What's at these free throws? You realize how long seven seconds could last and how they just gave that to us? So, guys, quickly is at the line for two shots, guys. We're up four points, 11.1 seconds to go. Quickly is first shot. Is up and good. Nice. Up five right now, 70, 79 to 74. Yeah, get everyone back. Everyone back. Seriously, everyone back. 80%. <clears throat> what, today? For the teams, 80%. Oh. 12 for 15. We're 12 for 15 on free throws for the day. Cookley is about to shoot his second free throw right now. Up five points. Second shot's up and... No good. We're up five points with 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds. They throw it to the top of the key. They pass it again to the top of the games, key for a three-point shot that's no good. They get it. Two, two seconds. They put a layup in with 0.3 seconds to go. Games it's a three-point game, but with 0.3 seconds. Just to get some, the let them get the ball, ref. We throw it down the court and tipped, and it's, it's over. So Kentucky wins through like three oh points on a ball buster Tuesday night game. But we pull out the win. That's all that matters. And we are putting some separation in the SEC race right now. Ed, I really was hoping that could be a bigger lead by the end. All right. Win's a win. God. Win's a win. Oh. But uh, I, I think the key here is, is Richards is okay. He stayed in the game. And uh, Haggy looks like he's totally okay, too, as he's standing around. He was that hurt. They wouldn't let him be walking around. Yeah. So – I think Hoping. Haggy's fine. He's just – ice him up, rest up, let him sleep all day the next three days and just get him ready for Saturday. He's going to be feeling it tomorrow, but hopefully get everyone back. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Sharon, good to see you in the chat. Landon, yeah, win is a win. No, I'll go through the comments. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you get it. So, let's go back. So, <clears throat> no, that's right. so, Landon, I agree. It, it probably was a thigh contusion. I thought I heard Charlie Horse, but something about his thigh. They're actually showing our highlights here. Oh, never mind. They're not showing the odds. Forget it. But uh, who won this Florida game? Florida? And they did. Landon, we need him to be ready by Saturday night. I think he'll be ready by Saturday night. I think he's fine. He's got a lot of time to yeah. fill up. We'll need him Saturday night. He should be good, though. I, I, he, if you want to listen to us, from our opinions, we think he'll be back Saturday. 
Uh, Mountain Warriors knock down free throws and take home the win. We did that. You know, we made it very interesting there. Yeah. Uh, your regular gamer, if only all our players can shoot free throws like quickly, yeah, totally. That would make life so much easier, wouldn't it? Here's the team, guys. We're showing the highlights of the team. We have to play Saturday. Another tough team. Uh, Landon Markham, wow. Landon Markham, we were missing our point guard. We really were. Your regular gamer, get the rebound. Let's see. I'll catch back up here. So here we go. Uh, your regular gamer said that's game. Good, good call. Uh, let's see. Uh, Karen Martin said quickly is money. Ball game. BBN. Sharon Ludwig. Yay. Boulder Vaughn. We win. Landon Markham. A win is a win. Exactly. Boulder Vaughn. Up 15 is. points at five minutes left. Yeah, you had to know it wasn't going to be a 15 point win. <laughs> Uh, that's why I was like laughing as I was like, this is unbelievable. We're 15 <laughs> points right now. We're never 15 points. Uh, Mountain Warriors, Good Road, W, Big Blue, love it. Mountain Warriors, BBN, thanks, Jake and Kenny. Lee Martin, crazy win. Scary how Cena lost his mind at the end, but Cats win. Yeah, I feel – unfortunately, that's just how we're going to be. We're going to be – I mean, I, I did not like having Brooks of any of all players, the one throwing it in. I mean, that's yeah. like our most, like, unconfident player right now. But, I, hey, a win's a win. Uh, Mountain Warriors, go Big Blue. Good night, BBN. Yeah, good night to all you guys that are still in here. I appreciate you guys coming in. A late Tuesday night. Really happy to pull out the W. Move to 21 and 5, 11 and 2 in conference play. Yeah, and even awesome. though my birthday is still in 45 minutes, it was a good uh, pre birthday. It's basically the birthday yeah, win. Yeah, that's a good birthday so, win right there. Definitely like that game. And uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to drink a beer. I know I said I would, but uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, we, to to we, bed, we don't have so. any blue moons here, but we'll, we'll yeah, eventually. We do now. Well, I don't think we do. And Lee Martin just uh, said that happy birthday in UK reactions. Yep, it is Kenny's birthday in about 15 or 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And then Daniel Cheney, EJ needs to shoot more. I agree. He needs to do – he needs to, he needs to have the confidence to just do what he wants out there because he really is – he could be such a great player. He has all, of, all the tools and abilities to be a monster out there. Landon Markham, let's get Haggins ready for Saturday. Amen. Get him ready. Get him all rested up, ready to roll because, I mean – He's going to be a big factor for us if we want to do anything this year. But I think he's fine. It's, it could have been a lot worse. He's just icing up. It's a good thing he came back out there. Most of them, they don't even come back. Last year, Travis, when he hurt his knee against Missouri, he did not come back out. We had to wait for like three days to hear like what was yeah. going on. So we can we can rest well tonight knowing he's just icing up. He should be fine. Well, we'll wait and hear what Kyle says after the game. Uh, Lee Martin, Kentucky, six of last 45 threes. Then we go off. Exactly. That's what I love about these teams. Is we could be playing like garbage, but then on a flip of a switch, we could turn it on and roll it and roll the flipping whole table. So, yeah. uh, after our main, and then some thoughts about the game. Last one, uh, Boulder Vaughn, real fans are tipped to skip the whole game. Hey, I, <clears throat> this is definitely being fans of any team. You guys, you, you've been here with us the whole game, Boulder Vaughn. So, is a few other you guys. These games are they're, – they're, it's like a job. It really is. It's fun because we love these teams, but they are very yeah, stressful. And, I know. Again. We're, <laughs> yeah. But if we'd have lost, I, I probably couldn't have slept tonight. So it, it's nice. You can sleep with a W, knowing everyone's healthy. I want to hear Cal say one thing about Haggy just to rest a little bit better. But <clears throat> either way, I think he's feeling pretty good. And then uh, <clears throat> Border Vaughn, we watched the whole time. Exactly. We watched See, every second of every game. Even if we're losing by 30. Last year we lost the 30 by Duke. Uh we actually sat here and watched the whole game. As frustrating and as um, as depressing that was, I sat here like, like I'm just gonna sit here and witness this because it's gonna get better at some point. So. Well, I mean, even yeah, even <clears throat> if there are a lot of games where I don't want to watch because, or I, it's not that I don't want to watch, but I think it's probably better for my mental health to not watch. But still stick through them. But why don't we yeah. give our final uh, round so, of thoughts of the game? Final thoughts of the game. Really awesome, unbelievable road win. I mean, unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I was not expecting. I knew we could win, but I was, I was anticipating possibly a tough game tonight. And uh, the fact that we won is just makes me feel so good. And uh, my player of the game, my key player of the game going into the game was EJ Montgomery. I still think the fouls took him out of that sure. race a little bit. He still did some stuff. I think today's player of the game had to be Nate Sestina, in my opinion, because I mean, you, you can give it to many options, but Nate Sestina played like a man out there. The threes were in the second half, but before that. He was making hustle plays. Yeah. That block at the end was a clean block, and they called a foul. That was a clean block. Uh, Nate Sassan was easily by far the player of the game, in my opinion. He gets the MVP for tonight. Uh, but other guys played really well. Quickly is always consistent. And uh, really happy with our performance tonight. Yeah, definitely. Great road win. This is one we did not really – we kind of 
could ex- accept it if we lost. I guess we really can't really accept any loss. But we were thinking this is going to be a tough game. Don't know if we we're going to win. But, yeah, a lot of people stepped up. But in particular, obviously, Sustina played of the game. I have to give it to him because of those threes. But also Brooks, which is something I kind of forgot about, is that he had a good putback, had a good rebound, had a good deflection. He had a really good run right after we were just saying how we were disappointed in him and everything like that. And he stepped up big with a deflection, a block, a putback, and really stepped up there. So I wanted to mention that because I kind of forgot it. But, yeah, we had a big win. But at the end of the day, like Landon said, a win is a win, so I'm happy about it. We had a really big lead, and I thought we could have cruised in better. But at the end of the day, yeah, we won, and that's all that matters in this game. It's a road yeah. win. So it doesn't matter if you win by half a point. Yeah, one, one other thing I want to say was a shout-out to Keon Brooks once again. If you're ever watching this, Keon, great performance tonight. Uh, you made some really amazing hustle, great hustle plays. And that's all I ask for you right now is rebound and play hard. And yeah, Brooks play. did some really good stuff. And honestly, throwing it in like that was – I mean, I, I can only imagine how stressful it's got to be to do that. And yeah. But, yeah, he, he had a lot of great saving plays and hustle plays. Yeah, the hit, good job by out of bounds, Keon Brooks. off the guy's leg, yeah. big play. I think he scored two points, but that's not that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about hustling and making good rebounds and stuff. He's, he's probably one of the best verticals on the team, jumping-wise. But, uh, yeah, once again, guys, really appreciate everyone that came in here. Uh, great win. Uh, can't wait for Saturday night. Be ready for our live stream Saturday night. We'll probably start it off around 5.50, 5.55-ish because our game starts at 6. We take on Florida and Rupp Arena. Got to protect the home court and keep this thing rolling. We've won 13 of our last 15 games. Just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Good win, everyone. Uh, Lee, if you're out there, good win tonight, man. Hope to see you Saturday if we get together for a uh, – watch parties to be ready for some other people to be in these videos yeah, saturday get everyone together for that one yeah we should have a little get together for that maybe and uh yep good win can carry and ride this the rest of the week till saturday when it's time to suit up again and take on florida so thanks again guys really appreciate all you guys tuning in uh go big blue good win and we'll see you guys uh saturday night see you guys it's saturday around like 5 five fifty five ish take good care win. guys have a good night go big blue Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Go Cats.